What is going on? Having liberated the hourglass and become keeper of time, my next task was to restart history. Not beholden to past events, I was free to craft a new era. It was with humility and restraint that I approached this blank canvas. After careful preparation, I began work, painting over the darkness. After eons passed, I sketched out the realms. After eons more, I brushed them in with life. Wait a minute, so Liu Kang reset the whole timeline? In a new era, all beings will have the opportunity to find peace. Whether or not they do, will be their responsibility. That's crazy. For my power only permits me to begin this endeavor. It is the duty of mortals to finish it. Mortal Kombat 1. is about to be rewarded for I have saved the best for last I have recently discovered a cure-all of unrivaled potency it will soon be on the shelves in every home of the Shang Tsung this elixir is crafted from an ancient recipe it has Patreon flowers Margovian nectar powdered teeth of an Arctic dragon all Dude over here selling more, false hopes to people. Fused with powerful Lycorian magic. There is a village in the next canton over where everyone has purchased this miracle cure. Overnight, all diseases, even Tarkat, have disappeared. Now, magic this potent is expensive. And I am sure you're asking yourselves can I afford it? But the true question you must ask is, can I afford to be without it? This you dude is swindling people. So yep, there he goes. Your cures are useless. I'm sorry. You are someone fool enough to have believed you. My daughter was dying when you came to my farm. You promised a miracle, and I gave you all I had. But only days later, she was dead. <laughs> that is impossible. My magic could not have failed her. There was no magic! I took your elixir to an Imperial mage, and you know what she said? That guy's voice actor sounds familiar. It's nothing! Just Borjang tea! The mage is mistaken, kind sir. My elixirs are. Oh, they're about to beat him. Quality. Their efficacy is guaranteed. Yo, we are beating this dude. <laughs> hey, he, he about to get a beating of his lifetime. Well, looky who we have here. It's lit. You dang right it's lit. So Shang Tsung, he lost his whole, he lost his whole business. He's just a bozo now. He's a bum. He's a broken old man. With his little elf boots. Wait, he was wearing a wig? Oh, he looks super young. What the heck? It is an excellent ruse, your disguise. Who is this chick? Backwater folk are far more likely to trust a kindly old man. Here on behalf of a dissatisfied customer. If it's revenge you want, have at it. If it's restitution, there's nothing left. What I want, Shang Tsung, is to elevate you. To Why does she sound like Kronika? Sorcerer that now you can only pretend to be. 
generous offer. Why me? You are uniquely resilient. Who else could eke out a living traveling Outworld's hinterlands, selling quack cures and fake magic? <laughs> a living? It is barely survival. And you were meant for more. To live among kings, not peasants. But since before you were born, you have been conspired against by those who fear how formidable you could become. How do you know this? Who are you? I am your deliverer, Shang Tsung. Join me, and I will put the realms at your feet. All right, I got a question. And why does that, that, look at that, look at that smile. Look at that guy. He's such a scumbag that, you know, even his younger self was, he was destined to be a scumbag. That, they didn't even introduce who that character was. Who's out in the fields right now? Is that Kung Lao? Oh, the new era, Kung Lao. Okay, chapter one's Kung Lao. This is a good harvest, Kung Lao. Yes. It is a blessing, Raiden. You would rather we starve? No, no, of course not. But we've worked these fields since we were kids. In 40 years, we'll still be here. Stooped and feeble like old man Wei. Oh my gosh. <laughs> as long as I've known you, you've dreamed of leaving Fengjian. Why can't you be happy here? Our ancestors fought in great wars. They died with honor and glory. Stories of our great adventures? <laughs> will be passed down for generations. It may not be glorious, but what we do helps the village thrive. I know. But is it so wrong to want some excitement? If that's what you want, may I suggest a bet? Dinner at Madame Beau's tonight. Last to fill their cart pays. You work faster than me? <laughs> Since when? You're on, Raiden. All right, so they're they're battling for supremacy to see who's the fastest. making tonight for you two whatever you want oh for real though thank you madam Bo. you spoil us cook me up like some eggs some grits some bacon had. pancakes some blueberries in it have you two been practicing my lessons as we can the harvest leaves us little time for martial arts since your first words, Kung Lao, you've mouthed nothing but excuses. If you fail to prepare... Your preparations will fail you. Good. You haven't forgotten. But we'll see if I make you anything special tonight. But you I'm said you was going to make me whatever I wanted, though. Bo might just pad the bill with her anger. I am paying? You finished work last. But I delivered my cart first. Delivered? Huh. The bet was filled. Yeah, that's, that's true. I remember. So that's how it is, eh? What do you say we settle this man to man? Hmm? Oh, what they gonna do? What kind of competition they gonna get into? <laughs> Wait, you mean fight? Yes. Right here. Right Wait, that's Raiden? Madame Bo can watch. Critique our form. So why is Raiden and Kung Lao best friends? Best and not out of three? Liu Kang and Kung Fair Lao. Enough. We must be careful. Madame Bo will kick us out if we break something. <laughs> oh, we about to fight this right now, y'all. Enough for that to happen. You will be down in no time. Fight. Okay. Raiden, you, you're a bum, bro. You don't even have your powers. Okay, I'll just keep pushing them. 
Oh, yes, I like that. Yeah, we both know how this ends, bro. No Kung Lao gonna bust you. I can't believe they let Raiden get bodied like that. You were hungry. Oh, everything was delicious, Madame Bo. Thank you, Raiden. You boys are always a pleasure to cook for. That smoke? Yeah, I think that smoke. Madam Bo, the Lin Kuei await your answer. Oh, heck no. I have been busy, Smoke. Like, mind your business, Smoke. The Lin Kuei? Who are they? Don't know, but I don't like where this is going. What do we do? Stay ready. Madam Bo. You gotta stay ready so you don't have to get ready, y'all, you know? Message. Or risk harm to this fine establishment. You'll get nothing from me. That, Madame Bo, is unfortunate. Oh, they're gonna start tearing up her place? Oh, heck no. Dude, look at Madame Bo! Bro, how you gonna mess up an old lady like that? What are you doing? She was giving him a combo though. <laughs> she was comboing that fool. Dang, Smoke is just He's reckless. But against us, you are in over your head. So is it 2v1 or 1v1? What are we doing? Yeah, yeah, you ruffian. You smoke dang, smoke dang buzzard. I'm surprised too. Come on, let's help Madame Bo. I think Madame Bo got her back slime cracked out. Sub Zero? Oh, heck no. Oh, they're a scorpion. Yeah, they ain't playing no games. Look at Scorpion. Oh my gosh. Want more? I have plenty. 
Hey. <laughs> Kung Lao's going off a good meal right now. He got a lot of energy. Oh, dang. I can tell you guys right now that the uh, graphics on this game is freaking amazing. Cinematics are pretty good, too. Oh, y'all double teaming me, huh? I don't got a friend. Oh, wait, I can get... I didn't know I can get Raiden in there. I don't need him, though. I don't need you, Raiden. He, see, he doesn't even hit the dude. Raiden, you got to get the meat cleaver. <laughs> uh oh. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was pretty hilarious. You had to try it. Oh, that works. And he cut him? enough of you. Then go. Before I put you down like the rest of your Lin Kuei. You haven't a prayer against the Lin Kuei's Grandmaster. Fight. <laughs> oh, wow. So y'all double teaming me now? Raiden, we gotta work on our double teaming skills, bro, because you're just just filing. You ain't even hitting the dude. Look, look, they done final blowed me. Dang. Oh my gosh. That was wild. I loved it. I loved every moment of that. Are you sure you're a grandmaster? Interesting. Hung Lao, over here. Madame Bo. Is she dead? Oh, I thought she was dead. Dead? Oh, dang. <laughs> she tricked them. Oh, I thought she was dead. Wow, she got up smoking a cigarette in there. Oh, my goodness. This lady got the remedy. Who's this dude? Oh, that's Liu Kang. That's Lu. So, Madame Bo, are they ready? A bit thick in the head, perhaps, but they are ready. His eyes are glowing. I am Lord Liu Kang, God of Fire and Protector of Earthrealm. God? Earthrealm? Madame Bo has been preparing you for this moment since you were boys. Today. You have proven worthy of joining my champions. This fight was... 
A test? Of your ability and character, yes. Be hot, quietly act. Oh, they all were in on it. That's crazy. So these two aren't thugs? The Lin Kuei is a centuries-old clan dedicated to Earthrealm's defense. You keep saying Earthrealm. Don't you mean Earth? You boys have so much to learn. Earth is only a part of Earthrealm. Earthrealm itself is one of many realms. Together, they comprise the whole of the universe. The realms can be fierce, bitter rivals. That's why we need champions to defend ours. The time draws near for the Grand Martial Arts Tournament between Earthrealm and the realm of Outworld. Held once each century, it allows each realm to demonstrate its strength. While our realms are at peace, there are outworlders who would prefer us to be at war. Our victory in the tournament will temper their zeal. I've taught you everything I can. You must finish your training with Lord Liu Kang. More training? These two couldn't defeat us. <laughs> if y'all only knew that they were toying with you. Exactly, I knew it. Can we not held back. You would not have survived. Y'all yeah, would have been Come. dead. The monks at the Wuxi Academy await to continue your tutelage. I am ready, Lord Liu Kang. And you, Raiden? Li Feng Jian? I'm needed here. Earth Realm needs you, Raiden. You'll best serve the village by being one of its champions. I understand. Excellent. I will join you soon. First, there are other champions I must gather. Mr. A-List, Johnny Cage. All right. So who is, who is he, Indiana Jones? Off the map. We should go back. Must we be filming a movie. It's this way. Why is this giving me Indiana Jones vibes? Ugh. God damn it, Alessia. The darts came from here. Can you open it? Without killing us? <laughs> Let's hope so. This is Indiana Cage. Y'all think this movie would have been lit? Turn them off. And we're definitely getting warmer. How are these still burning? Oil bubbles up from the ground. The chamber channels it somehow. Yeah, they are. They are pretty decent. Caravala. An 
<laughs> it would have been all right, man, Stan. <laughs> what? So? There's Probably like on the floor. That's not just any. Metal. Yeah, it's mercury. It's liquid mercury. Shit, that stuff's toxic. Fatal. Only step where I step. I think that dude behind him is going to fall in somehow. Wait, he didn't follow him on that second rock. What did I say? See? Hard headed. Oh. Uh oh. Explosives. Wait, That's you gonna bitch. blow that thing up? Do this right, it'll fall across. Oh, they're trying to build a bridge to go across. What in the world? He's like, hey, Are baby. Collector, you wouldn't take one of them on a date? He's like, heck no. Wow, so that one worked, but whenever I tried with Raiden and Kun Lao, it didn't work. Lima. Oh, Adam got some kicks. Crazy lady. Oh, he shot her in the corner pocket. All right. Okay. Yes, we ready. Physics for the win. Let's go. Sounds like some skater would say this would be worth millions. Oh heck no. Oh no! No! He's dead. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Wait, so he gets a partner and I don't? The treachery. Ugh. Dude, quit, quit throwing up on me, bro. It's nasty. Ugh. Wait, why are we connected at the tongue?
Now where's that shield? I'm not yet defeated. Yes, you are. Ooh. Time to go home. Cut. Credit. I knew it. Who? Is that his I best that line one. of the movie? Time to go too, home. Right? Temple of Kataravala, take 39, tail slate. That's a wrap. I give that movie a 9 out of 10, y'all. It was pretty, pretty Steven, good. This was fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> Steven Spielberg? Oh, just like the old days. And these props. Jimbo killed it. <laughs> you did too, Johnny. Hey, uh, about my pitch. You know, the karate zombie thing? I'm thinking four films. Maybe a streaming series? Johnny, I don't have... You're right. Not here. I'll swing by your office after I change. Mm, I can't. Uh, have to be with the editors. Martian will call you. Great! Have your assistant call me. Well, that was great, Han. Wasn't it, though? We need to celebrate. I'm thinking private party. But, Johnny... That's not Sonya. We need to talk. You know what that means, y'all, when they say we need to talk. You're not the martial arts megastar you once were, honey. You're lucky Steven owed you a favor. I'm telling you, Chris, we're fine. Who's this Chris Can you girl? join me in the fact-based universe just once? We're broke. We have to cut back. Cut back? On what? Step one is selling this place. It is a nice house. I need a refill. Johnny... We can't keep this up. You spent 10,000 on that sculpture, 30,000 on that drone, and this damn sword. Three million dollars? Hey, Cento is history. That sword comes from- Ugh, That's not the point, Johnny! Chris, honey, the parts, the money, they're coming. Steven's movie is just the beginning. That's why I can't cut back. To be a success, I have to project it. If I don't, Johnny Cage is done. He's right. He's got to manifest it. I didn't marry Johnny Cage. I married John Carlton. I'd give anything to have him back. Chris, come on. Chris, where are you going? Fuck! How do you like that, Mr. Haylist? Thank God. Oh, Chris, honey, I... Hey, who the heck is that? Where's my wife? What did you... Your wife left. She's fine. You will be too if you cooperate. What do you want? Sento. Oh, dang. Some kind of hired gun? Or do you know Sento's history? I know it. It's my family blade. No. No way, your Tyra clan. They've been dead for centuries. Not dead. Hiding. With Sento in my hands, I'll lead us out of the shadows. That's a great plan, stranger. Except for one thing, Sento's mine. And I won't give it up without a fight. Fight. Oh, this is Kenshi before he was blind? Say word? Oh, he ain't playing no games with me. Oh my gosh, she did a taunt. You tried robbing the wrong house. I am the old 
ultimate home security system. He just tied him up. So, you have a name or what? Kenji Takahashi. <laughs> I knew you weren't Tyra Clan. You know nothing, Cage. 400 years ago, the Tyra Clan were one of Japan's first families. They lost Sento after getting slaughtered at the siege of Aomori. There were survivors. They hid themselves by shedding the name Tyra for Takahashi. They joined the Bakuto for its protection. The Yakuza's predecessors. From first family to crime family. I will break us free of the Yakuza's corruption. Reclaim our name and our position. But my clan won't follow me unless I prove that I can lead. That's why I need Sento. And that's Malibu's finest. It's a great story. Bullshit. <laughs> But great, you should seriously consider becoming a screenwriter. What in the actual fuck? Good evening, Johnny Cage. <laughs> He's like, uh, why are your eyes glowing? Kang, protector of Earthrealm. May we enter? Uh, nothing's being shot here tonight. Uh, you sure you're in the right place? Yes. We come on a matter of grave importance. We must speak to you and your guest. What? How do you know about him? Because I am the god of fire. Chris, you vixen. Nicely done. Sure. I, I come right in. Glowing eyes are a nice touch. I knew he was going to talk about his eyes. He's like, why are your eyes glowing? Kenshi Takahashi. A tragic figure with a noble cause. Your actions this evening do you no credit. Who are these people? You tell me. They're <laughs> your scene partners. I also know of your struggles, Johnny Cage. I am here to offer you both a path forward. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Let's call this. Chris was a doll to set this up, but... As pranks go, this one's a bit obvious. This is no prank. Bihan, Kualiang, if you please. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll play my part in this uh, martial arts LARP. The missus ought to get what you paid for. Uh. <clears throat> okay. Uh. Hey, you. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, you. Get your damn hands off him. I oh my gosh. Get your hands off him. Why is he quoting Back to the Future lines? Oh, dang. Sub Zero ain't playing, bro. Oh, that's that $10,000 sculpture. Was that necessary, brother? To put him in his place. That was a Hichuli. One of a kind. All right, I don't care if this is a damn prank. You cross the line. Oh, there we go with the final blow again.
Dang, that was crazy. For my Hachuli. Imbecile. You have no idea with whom you're dealing. Enough. Ah. Uh, that's no special effect. Indeed, Johnny Cage. Quiet, Yang. Okay, let's go back to one here. Who are you again? Lord Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm. God of fire. Well, that last one tracks. But what's an Earth realm? All will be explained, Johnny Cage. For now, what is important is that you both have been chosen to join its champions. Why him? Or me, for that matter. Because I have faith that you will rise to the challenge. And because your service will change the arcs of your lives. All right, so this is chapter three, chosen one. This is Raiden. He's getting his training on right now. It is genius, Raiden. The next time we see Sub-Zero, I will have to thank him for inspiring it. Ow! See? It won't be effective. Ooh. Maybe it's too effective. Yeah, that's gonna be deadly. Uh, we just need to get on with it. I've been cooped up here for months. I can't base a cinematic universe on Outworld's monsters and magic if I don't ever see them. That's why you're here? Liu Kang said this gig would change the arc of my life. That's how it gets done. My aunt's will rue the day she gave up on me. <sighs> so selfless. Oh, please, Tattoo. You're just here to get your sword back. We all have our reasons for being here. Some better than others. But we are not here to fight among ourselves. We are here to fight for Earthrealm. It's about damn time. And today, one of you will be chosen to fight for it at the tournament. Only one of us, Lord Liu Kang? Isn't Outworld fielding several champions? The tournament's rules give the host realm that advantage. And it is Outworld's turn as host. You know, I don't know why I've never asked this, but, uh, <laughs> what's our record at this tournament? Earthrealm and Outworld have long been evenly matched, but Outworld is gaining strength. Should it win, its more militant factions will be emboldened. I thought you admired Outworld. It is a place of great knowledge, wealth, and beauty. But our realms do not share goals and beliefs. We coexist peacefully. Because Outworld respects our strength. Should we show weakness, our rival will become our enemy. I will not lose, Lord Liu Kang. First, you must win the right to represent That's Kung Lao all confident like that. One of you outlasts the others. I will not lose, Lord Liu Kang. Raiden, step forward. <laughs> I think call. I think Raiden's gonna be the chosen one. First. You 
shall face him, Johnny Cage. Uh oh. Ready for your close Big up. mouth. All right. I'm gonna shut it for him. But remember, farm boy, I'm a global martial arts icon. I don't think you can handle this much boom. <laughs> I am ready, Johnny. Cage. <laughs> Luke Kang rolled his eyes. He's like, man, whatever. Fight. Yeah, I think Raiden's probably gonna be the chosen one. So this whole story is pretty much like Liu Kang is Raiden. Raiden is gonna be like the Liu Kang that's gonna like be the leader of everything. Good story so far though. I think when Raiden evolves, his fighting style is going to change. This fight was an honor. You're welcome. Kenshi Takahashi, you are next. Are they always beefing? You have skills, Raiden, but you're inexperienced. Whatever experience I lack, I make up for in heart. It's nerve, not heart, that wins fights. I should know. I've been in hundreds of them. Fight! Yeah, he's like, Raiden's fighting style is like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Like, look, look at the way that he's like, like his stance and everything. You ain't gonna hit me with the sword? I shouldn't have taken you lightly. I won't do it again. Kenshi gave freaking Johnny Cage a better fight. It's like kindergarten right now. See, open my mouth too early. question my nerve I do not yours was a well-earned victory you may rest Raiden this evening you will face your final opponent Kung Lao that's gonna be a battle right there We're the two best friends that anyone can ever have. 50 bucks says Kung Lao wins. Make it interesting. Bet me Sento. Oh. <laughs> Not on your life. He's really trying to get that sword. That bet me Sento. Kung Lao. The winner of this match will represent Earthrealm against Outworld. It is a grave duty. Not to be undertaken lightly. You may step back now and suffer no dishonor. I choose to fight, Lord Liu Kang. As do I. Then may the best person win. Kung Lao takes his hat off and just slices Raiden's head off. He's like, fatality. I'd be like, whoa, that'd be crazy. <laughs> Concede, Raiden. You have never beaten me. That won't change today. No. If the monks have taught us one thing, it's that the only constant in the universe is change. Fight. Oh, he said you've never beat me? You know that's always a jinx. I'm undefeated, never lost, and then you lose. Yeah. 
Yeah, Raiden got combos, bro. That was pure luck, Raiden. Like lightning. the first time for everything, Kung Lao. Although you have all trained well, Raiden has excelled. This outcome does not surprise me. How could I have... Congratulations, Raiden. For the tournament, you will need this. Oh, that's how he got that amulet? Forged by the Elder Gods. It gives the wearer power over lightning and thunder. Go ahead. Try it. In addition to possessing great might, the Outworlders you will face also wield great magic. The amulet levels the playing field. You must be careful, Raiden. You could get hurt, even killed. No tournament participant has ever been grievously injured or killed. <laughs> I would never send my champions unwittingly into mortal combat. We leave in seven days for Outworld's capital, Sundo. The tournament will be held at the palace of Empress Sindel. Outworld can be both alien and intoxicating to Earthrealmers. Do not become drawn in. You must focus on the task at hand. While Johnny Cage is sitting there recording it. Okay, sure. Dude is putting it on his Instagram right now. Johnny will show them respect not unwanted attention oh my gosh he's like you treat them like the queens they are Lord Liu Kang welcome thank you Princess Melina you remember my sister of course Princess Kitana may I introduce Johnny Cage Kung Lao Kenshi Takahashi and Earthrealm's champion, Raiden. I hope you're prepared, Raiden. Our champions are determined to win. None more so than me. It's been too long since we've known victory. Princess Melina, we should be on our way. Empress Sindel awaits. Thank you, Tanya. Follow me, please.
Shokan. The six armed beings are not Nadens. The monks described them, but seeing them in person? I see that Her Majesty once again spares no expense on the festival. Should she not? It commemorates my late father. I admire, Princess. I do not judge. As did all of Outworld, I valued greatly Jared's fellowship. <laughs> was to be clear. This couldn't wait. Should I allow Tarkatans to infect the city, your highness? Those arrested were harboring some here, rather than report them for quarantine. The Earth Realmers cannot be privy to our secrets, Li Mei. As Sundo's first constable, you must show better judgment. Perhaps that's too much to expect. Princess Melina doesn't seem to like her very much. Li Mei used to lead the Umgadi, the palace guard. It was on her watch that the princess's father was murdered. <laughs> Worry expends energy for no purpose, Rin. But the tournament, if I lose... Focus on your actions, not the outcome. It is all you can control. Who's this dude? Red alert. Incoming stock villain. General Shaw. Do not let him go to yeah, Shaw Khan. <laughs> is it me? Or is Earth Realm's champion scrawnier than usual? Would you care to test his strength? Raiden will will prove himself soon enough. Have you still not told most Earth Realmers that Outworld exists? It is safer that way, General. I suppose so. Your people's frail minds couldn't handle the truth. You presume them frail, General. Should you, given how frequently they win this tournament? We will destroy your champion, Liu Kang. He will taste no victory. Sindel. McFlurry. Welcome, members of the Royal House. Welcome, our esteemed Earth Realm guests. We gather once again to honor my late husband's legacy. To continue the tournament that he founded with Lord Liu Kang in hopes that it would foster peace among realms. May Jared's soul watch over us with pride from its resting place in the living forest. Lord Liu Kang. Empress Sindel, it pleases me to once again be your guest. Here, you are always welcome. Now, let us meet your champion. Earthrealm's champion is Raiden, your majesty. He has earned his place by embodying the very best qualities of Earthrealm's people. You seem nervous, young man. I'm a stranger in an unfamiliar land, here to compete against its greatest fighters. Yes, I am nervous. As you should be, you have a difficult path ahead. It has begun. As tradition requires, Outworld's initial competitor will be Sundo's first constable, Li Mei. Gotta fight Li Mei? We defend our realm's glory 
as well as she preserves our capital's order. Your Majesty. Good luck, man. I will honor both the royal house and all of Outworld with my combat. If so, you will vastly exceed my expectations. Remember, were it not for Jared's tradition, you would not be here. I mean, she's the one who got him killed anyways, right? All you need do is your best. The rest will take care of itself. Yes, Lord Liu Kang. Shall we see what you can do? Hopefully, this will be the first of many victories. I will prevail, Earthrealmer. This fight is more important to me than you can ever know. Fight. <laughs> I told you guys uh, Raiden's fighting style was going to change once he became the, the lightning dude. I mean, he still kind of fights the same, but it's a little bit quicker. It's not all Mickey Mouse how it was before. First constable. My compliments, Raiden, on a well fought match. We'll see how you fare in the next. General Shao, whom have you chosen as our next competitor? Your Majesty, I have chosen Reiko, my second in command. Who the heck As is Reiko? Reiko was orphaned during the Kafala War. Though captured, his spirit remained unbroken. He scratched, clawed, and survived. After the war, I took him in, molded him into the perfect soldier. Few others are as well versed in the ways of war. <laughs> Man, ain't nobody scared of you, Rico. Reiku, whatever your name is. In what wars have you fought? I have done neither. Then you are woefully unprepared, Earthrealmer. This will be your last battlefield. Fight! <laughs> Dang. He was like a UFC fighter. farmer I am ready for my next opponent your majesty whom shall I face patience young man we are adjourned until first light 
I hope to see you all at this evening's banquet. I'm sorry, you're 10,000 years old? Oh, talk about aging gracefully. What do you see in him? He is a hero, Raven. Though he may not yet know it. Do you recognize everyone here? Most, yes. From your descriptions. Except for him. That is Rain, the High Mage of Outworld. Not his given name. But one earned due to his mastery of water magic. Melina looks like she's getting sick. Are you unwell, princess? Uh, I'm fine, Tanya. I know I'm to fight Melina, but will I also face Tanya? By tradition, you should not. If you did, you would be tested. Why? Umgadi, like Tanya, are warrior priestesses, selected from the firstborn daughters of Outworld. From infancy, they are trained to defend the royal family. Outworld must see much conflict if the Empress needs such protection. Its past has been difficult. Though the last thousand years of Empress Sindel's reign have been a true golden age, the memories of that strife still linger. My husband, Jared, believed that the future of our realms lay together. Let us move forward in open dialogue, letting no secrets tear our bonds asunder. Your Majesty, it's an honor to be here and to meet your people. I can already see there's more that joins us than divides us. <laughs> our peoples could not be more different, champion. Excuse me? You heard me. Earth realm is a devoid of all. That's enough, General. My apologies, Your Majesty. Perhaps I've enjoyed too much of this excellent wine. With your permission. You may go. What a jerk. It is bad enough we may lose to the Earth Realmers, but then you go and drunkenly insult them? You needlessly stain my honor and your family's proud military tradition. May I speak freely, Your Majesty? <sighs> Again with this? If you must. We must act on the sorcerer's prophecy. He warns that Liu Kang will conquer Outworld. And his predictions are usually impeccable. But I've no proof of Liu Kang's ill intent. His interventions have kept Outworld at peace for centuries. He herds us into compromises, shackles our independence. If we could meet our enemies in battle, we'll take- You would consign us to endless war. Better that than be Liu Kang's lapdog. If I see evidence of the prophecy's accuracy, we will act. But only then, and only at my command. Did not your illustrious father teach you that war is the last resort, not the first? He did, your majesty. Do not forget that, General. You asked to see us? I saw what happened this evening. Uh, there was nothing. It was something I ate. Was it? I can't chance it, can I? If you fight tomorrow, the symptoms of your disease could manifest. Katana will take your place. What? Uh, there are already whispers she should replace me as your heir. This will make them screams! Your illness is your fault. 
Why you left the palace that night unattended is still beyond me. I just need a time alone, away from all this. I never thought that... That's your problem, Melina. You never think. A mother is only trying to protect you, sister. If your disease becomes known, you will be banished to the wastes. For you to hold the throne, we must keep your secret. You continue to surprise Raiden. Among others, you have defeated Kotal, Motaro, and Shiva. Only two fights remain. Are you ready, Earthrealmer? I am, Your Majesty. Hey, hey, hey what I say about give me money? Katara. Don't give me no money. Thank you. Your Majesty, this is unprecedented. Raiden's next opponent should be your heir. Melina is unavailable. She's away on pressing Imperial business. But I have not prepared him to battle Katana. He's already demonstrated great skill. Can he not improvise? Do not worry. I can do this. Very well. I will be no easier to fight than my sister, Earthrealmer. I suffer under no such delusion, your highness. I will win this fight. For her, my empress, and all of Outworld. Fight! <laughs> Fight well, Princess. As do you, Earthrealmer. Surprisingly so. I hope we meet again. Under different circumstances. It's time for the final match. It's, it's the final countdown. Da -na -na -na. But now you must -na 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 -na. Oh yeah, I'm gonna bust him up. Come on, Shao Kahn. Victor of the Tavarian War. Conqueror Tavarian of the Plains, defender of the Navala Coast, as has his family. You need to go to the dentist with your old jacked up teeth. Shao defends us with zeal and tenacity. All of Outworld is grateful for his service. That's a notable list of accomplishments, General. It is a mere Why is Raiden so humble? He's just. <laughs> Dude is so humble, man. Fight. All right, I need to chill. I don't think Shao Kong is gonna be easy. Done it. 
Congratulations, Raiden. Earth Realm wins. <clears throat> Don't try to give him good sportsmanship, Raiden. Just walk off, bro. You're better off. I, I try to tell you, you're an idiot. Well done. You have exceeded my greatest expectations. Thank you, Lord Liu Kang. Because of you, the outworlders who would disturb the peace will once again be held at bay. Come, let us bid our hosts farewell and return to Earthrealm. Good to see you. Likewise, Lord Liu Kang. I have watched you with the hourglass. You are relishing your role as Earthrealm's protector. It suits me far better than being Keeper of Time ever did. I never wanted to replace Kronika. Being history's architect drove her mad. I had no wish to share her fate. Which is why I am forever grateful that you volunteered to safeguard the hourglass. Despite my having relinquished its power, the new era has unfolded as it should. You created me in your own image. Duty is my highest calling. While I am glad you are here, you are not one for social calls. Is there trouble with the hourglass? With something it has shown me. What, Geras? When you restarted history, you altered the destinies of certain malefactors to neutralize them. At least one of them is defying that destiny. Shang Tsung. Go on. He has escaped his meaningless life and is on his way to becoming a powerful sorcerer. He has already infiltrated Sindel's court. I saw no sign of him during the tournament. But if that snake is in Sindel's ear... Your vision of peace may already be compromised. I appreciate this warning, Giris. I will investigate. Please return to the Hourglass and see what else you can learn. So we find him in Outworld and bring him here for questioning? Yes. If what I fear has happened, he is a grave threat to the realms. Chapter 4, Anything Secrets else? and Lies, Kinshi. Song is a master of deceit. Do not trust a word he utters. Sounds a lot like my first agents. It's a tricky mission. I'd rather Raiden go along than this one. Hey, this one is up for the job. This mission must be done quietly. I am breaking my word with Why does Johnny Cage got a sword? By sending you into Outworld without is that the one knowledge. that uh, Kenshi wants? <laughs> Due to the tournament. Randomly Raiden has a sword. Is now a familiar face there. Sending him will only increase your risk of being discovered. This talisman is attuned to Shang Tsung's chi. Follow it to him. And be careful. May the elder gods protect you. He's like, and may the force be with you. Uh, are we there yet? Again? How old are you? Five? What can I say? These boots weren't made for walking. If that is the most pain you feel today, consider yourself lucky. Oh, I'm already lucky. I've got Sento strapped to my back. Oh, it is a Sento sword. Claim it, Cage. See, look, they're over here still fighting over this sword. You know I don't have it. I bet you your Kuz pals could come up with it. Oh, that's right. You blew them off. Ah, if there's one lesson Hollywood's taught me, it's never burn bridges. You never know who can help. The Yakuza are leeches. 
bleeding out those too weak to resist. I grew up in that life, and I never understood it. Why my gain required others' pain. I got out. I need my clan out, too. We can't be part of their crimes any longer. You know who that guy sounds like? He sounds like Brian T. from uh, Fast and the Furious, the dude who played... Um, ah, what's his name? Johnny Tran, I think. That's who that guy sounds like. What's your precious say? That Shang Tsung is among those things. Oh, my fans are gonna go nuts cosplaying them a cage guy. Why is Johnny Cage like documenting this like it's a, a vacation or something? Like, how do you even get his phone into that realm? Oh, look at look at that Tarkatan Baraka. He's like, I'll bite every last one of ya. If he squirms, I cannot extract marrow. He's trying to get some bone marrow out of That's him? Shang Let's jump him after he's done. Oh, in fists of iron. We did this thing where like we're not basing strategy on your movies, Cage. Let me go. You can't do this. The wound will heal in time. It is a small price to pay for progress. On second thought, this scene's playing fine without us. <gasps> yeah, I say we let him finish it. Oh, we dang, he's about to throw up. <laughs> Liu Kang needs him alive. Wait, is this how is how Kenji loses his eyes? Is he going to stick him in the eyes? Oh, heck no. How did he uh, do that? He's a sorcerer. What do you mean? Wait, so we got to fight these Tarkatans? I get why you'd want to, but you can't. You're one of his Baraka, ugly, eh? Fight. Fight. Oh, Baraka ain't pulling no punches. No pun intended. Whoa, hey, hey, sir, sir. Thank you. You know, I haven't played for about a day, so I'm a little, a little rusty. Oh my gosh. Help me, please. Bro, are you? No, 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 no. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm your friend, I think. Oh, wait. Hands down, MKX Kinchi is probably the best Kinchi. Guaranteed. Hey, Johnny, let me borrow that Seto sword, man. I, I need it. Just let me borrow for some battles. Oh, my God. like but we don't work for Shang Tsung if not why save him because Liu Kang Earthrealm's protector wants to question him he thinks Shang Tsung may be a threat to both our realms I'm Kenshi Takahashi uh, hey don't don't trust him bro don't try to shake his hand Our heck hand no not shake yeah I wouldn't touch that fool I'm sorry I didn't mean to offend don't you know what we are no 
We don't. We are victims of Tarkat. The disease is not easily gotten, but you can't risk more close exposure. <laughs> Johnny Cage is like, uh, I, I, I'll, I'll pass. I. In time, it will turn us all into bloodthirsty monsters. Death is our only release. So you weren't always like this? I was once a rich merchant, but when I became ill, I was banished. Oh, I like that backstory. I colony. Okay. I am Baraka. Yeah, we know who you are. What the stank breath you want with your bone marrow, Baraka? I don't know. But he comes here each month to harvest it. Release us, and we'll capture Shang Tsung. And we'll find out why he's been coming here. I promise. Let them go. Thank you. We won't let you down. Damn. This was guiding us to Shang Tsung. Now we can't find him. His laboratory is near. I'll take you. Oh, okay. Thanks, bro. You ain't got to do all that, Baraka, but thanks, man. Any idea what to expect? No. I've never been inside. Stay here. We'll check it out. You got like 18,000 sets of teeth. The addition of crushed chitin larva proved an inspired choice. In testing, outcomes improved significantly. And I have modified the formula since the last time it was administered. It uses several new ingredients. This new serum is exactly what we need. Its effects will be immediate and long lasting. How can you be sure? Oh, they're trying to heal Melina. Because it is brewed from freshly extracted Tarkatan marrow. It couldn't be more potent. You know what? I think when he injects her, it's going to make her worse. He is infecting Melina with Tarkat. Nah, she's already infected. They're trying to heal her. Bill's top dogs in on it. No wonder Liu Kang is worried about this guy. We need to stop him. Save a distressed damsel? <laughs> sure thing. Get away from her, you bitch. Oh my gosh. Excuse me? <laughs> you know. <laughs> Movie. Oh my gosh, dude! Man. Johnny Cage is, dude. He's a legend, bro. No, seriously. Earthrealmers. This Johnny Cage is a goat. Seen too much. I need time. Buy it for me. Liu Kang sent you, didn't he? Sent you to learn our secrets. He sent us here for Shang Tsung, but it looks like he's just part of the problem. Fight. All right, so I'm fighting Rain and Tanya. Oh wait, Johnny Cage is my my backup. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Dude, Rain, like, where are you getting all these powers from, bro? Okay, yeah, this Rain is goaded. I wonder if Ermac is in this game, though. What breaker? Don't don't hit me with the don't hit me with the thing, please don't. Don't hit me with that dibbly dapper. I thought he was gonna hit me with that uh, which it? What was it? What is it again? The fatal. Johnny Cage, help me. Oh my goodness, this dude. Dude, took me to the water part. That's all you got, Johnny? Hit him. This dude is crazy, man. Mage 
just brought low. Look at Tanya. She's over there tearing it up. Ooh. I bet you her moveset, she's probably going to be really fast, like when she fights me. Watch. You trespass in Outworld, interfere in Imperial matters. It is you, not I, who is the Oh, heck no. All right, Tanya, go easy. Go easy. No. Dude, I told you. Look at her. Dude, can I at least choose Kung Lao to be my partner? Because he's. He's, I think Johnny Cage is good and all, but look, that's all he does is run and do a kick. If Kung Lao could run in here and throw his little, little blade hat, that would actually work. I need to learn, like, his uh, ultimate. Hey, I bet you Melina's going to turn, and I'm probably going to have to fight her to watch. Look at her over there. I don't even think that uh, Shang Tsung got to give her that remedy. Can you throw the, you throw the sword, bro? Throw the sword. Okay, she's not. She's not going easy. No, no. Ouch. Yeah, he's gonna have a splitting headache. Oh, no, don't beat me. Don't beat me, Tanya. Please, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry Johnny Cage called you the B word earlier. I didn't, I didn't condone that. Your plot is over. Step away from the table. This is twice you've been a thorn in my side. You Earthrealmers do have un- Hey, his voice. Listen to his voice. I'm trying to remember who, what actor that is. You're not infecting her with Tarka. Hold on, hold on. I am trying to protect her, not infect her. We've heard about how you lie. Excuse us if we're skeptical. That voice sounds familiar. Who's, whose voice sounds like Shang Tsung to you guys? Princess, are you all right? Okay, she's about to mutate, bro. Look at her. Is it over? Yes. You're safe. We've stopped Shang Tsung. Stopped him? Why? See, I told you. Oh, I told you. I called it. I told you she was going to mutate. Princess. Because he never got to give her the uh, the remedy for it. What did you do to her? It's what you've done, fool. Let me help her before it's too late. See? She's mutating. <laughs> Oh, it's over. She's already mutated. Ugh. Now do you believe Earthrealmers? What do we do? Keep her occupied. I need time to finish more serum. Johnny, a hand? We got pages for this? Or are we winging it? Oh my Whatever gosh. We, do, we can't hurt her. Her? All right. I'm worried about us. Princess, she crazy. We help you. Your blood. I smell it. How sweet it will be to lick off my fingers. She said, "How sweet to lick off her fingers." She's wilding out. Well, Baraka said they do turn into bloodthirsty monsters, so I guess that's just how that goes. Look, Melina, chill, okay? I thought we were helping you, but it clearly we should have just left you alone. Yeah, keep her in the corner. Keep her in that corner. I think Prime Melina was probably Mortal Kombat 3 Ultimate Super Nintendo Oh 
my gosh. Come on. Johnny, Kong Lao, help hold her down. It's now or never, Shang Tsung. He's probably going to give her something that's going to make her stronger. Oh! Oh! That's how Kichi lost his eyes? Oh my gosh! By the gods, Melina! Oh my goodness. What's happened here, sorcerer? These men were sent to disrupt your sister's treatment and scandalize Outworld by revealing her illness. What? That's totally fake news. Princess, we were... That Goro? Thank you, Goro. I've no stomach for Earthrealm lies. We should detain the Earth Realmers and the Tarkatan we found outside. At least until the Empress is ready to respond to this incursion. Agreed. Uh, Katana, we're not the enemy here. I don't know why you're not listening. Dang, poor Kenshi, man. But Dang! You realize that this incident proves Earth Realm's bad faith. We must strike them now to protect ourselves. No. They would not do this. There must be a misunderstanding. Is that Liu Kang? Or who's that? Or is that Quan Chi? Because that's green. That's a green portal. Yeah, that's Quan Chi. What is he doing? It is no misunderstanding, princess. It is a confirmation of my prophecy. Left unchecked, Liu Kang will conquer Outworld. I apologize for not arriving sooner to defend your sister. I am glad she received her treatment. The princess is safe, but the threat from Earthrealm remains. Yes. Quan Chi. When do you anticipate they will strike? Soon. Today's events were foretold in the final quatrains of the prophecy. Then I am right. We must act now, Princess. I will take your concerns to the Empress. It is for her to decide. Rain, Tanya, assist me. What truly happened here, sorcerer? That the Earth Realmers interrupted the princess's treatment was happenstance. They were here to capture me for Liu Kang. You? Why? That I must investigate. For now, let us revel in our good fortune. The Earth Realmers serendipitous arrival has given us ample evidence to convince the Empress of the truth of Quan Chi's prophecy. Conflict with Earthrealm is now inevitable. Not necessarily. The Empress has never been eager for conflict. If she resists, she will be replaced. Our world needs a steadfast leader. A leader like you, perhaps. If my realm requires it of me, Kill the Earth Realms. They cannot report back to Liu Kang. Oh, their dance will also feed the ire between realms. Two birds, one stone. <laughs> Our benefactor will be pleased. She needs the realms at war, not at the brink of it, in order to conquer them both. Only then will they rule at her side. Before she found me languishing in the mines, I would not have thought such a thing possible. But soon, she left transformed us from serfs into scions. Jeez. 
chapter five weird science baraka oh my gosh what the heck are they doing what kind of experimentation they doing on them Barack Obama. That's not happening, is it? Keep talking, will ya? To keep my mind off this. Tell me about life before you got sick. You gotta be a G to lose your eyes and just try to stay, you know, I guess composed. My family was comfortable, happy. Then Tarkat came. He took my wife. Then my children. Cruelly, it lets me live for now. I think it enjoys ravaging my body more slowly. Oh, this hangover. Oh, Kenji. God damn it. How bad's the pain? Excruciating. You saved me. I won't forget that. But you may just regret it. What are you doing? What the heck? What's going on? What in the... F when did we take the left turn into survival horror? This is Shang Tsung's real laboratory. We're beneath where we were before. That was a false front. Reminds me of this cheap-ass film I did in my early days. Flesh Pits. God, that was trash. Oh my gosh, dude. Johnny Cage is a riot. Who's that? Our jailer. That rain? Ugh. No, that's reptile. How is he? His eyes are gouged out. Guess. I thought his uh, getup was purple when I was looking at it, but it's green. You're vile to be part of this. You are Shang Tsung's prisoner. I am his slave. He has my family. He'll kill them if I don't obey. I think now is like a perfect time that Johnny Cage is going to give him that sword. Dang, his eyes are just, just sockets. That's crazy. Why did she pick you? So he could learn how I shapeshift. He learned that from you? We saw him do that. It was unreal. So how does it work? You just shapeshift in anything you want? I can shift only between this and my natural form. Oh, heck no. You're Zeteran. Your race can shapeshift. None can except me. Are they ready? It's time. Uh oh, time he's going to feed us to the demons. <laughs> He's gonna feed us to the demons. They begin with your vivid section. I'll use your harvested parts to build new creations. The process is fatal, of course. Liu Kang won't let you do this. <laughs> that presumes he will ever learn what happened. But when I am done, there will be no trace left of you. I shall return soon to check progress. I have other matters to which I must attend. You don't have to do this. It's either you or my family. And yeah, I'm pretty sure you know what option he's going to pick. Oh my gosh, look at these demons over here. Look at them. Look at them. 
They're so ugly. Ugh. <laughs> Johnny Cage is like, I ain't playing with y'all. You almost got my friend killed. Yeah, believe it or not, him and Kenshi are friends. Dang, Baraka. Hey, help Kenji. You know he can't see. He's helpless right now. He totally harnesses his power. What the heck? They just threw him in there? There you go, Kung Lao. Get him. Oh, crap. Our cotton clone. Oh, my gosh. This dude's a beast. The one thing I can say I like about this game is that you get to fight all kinds of different enemies. It's just not the Mortal Kombat characters. It's like just people in the story, too. How many of these bumps I got to fight? Oh, come on, Kung Lao. Thank you. Finally, you did something. Bro, if I have to fight another one of these bums... Kung Lao, coordinate, all right? How about that? Is this what in the world who are you oh my gosh all right thank you Probably the ugliest tart cotton ever. Look at Johnny Cage. He's like, you better win, ugly man. Now, I know Kenshi lost a lot of blood. He's probably hurting real bad. This is nuts. I'm ruined. Sang Tsung will punish me for this by torturing my Reptile, family. Reptile, calm down, okay? Take a chill pill. You'll pay. 
for their suffering Takaki. That's all right. That's all right. Ugly. Ugly, ugly uh, acid spitter. I don't see myself paying for anything. I mean, you said I was going to pay. I don't I don't see any kind of patronage right now. I think that was a flawless victory. I don't think you touched me once. I won't let you. I don't try to mutate now. He's like, I'd rather die. Maybe he'll spare my family. No, I won't murder you. It's mercy, not murder. Not that what I've done deserves yours. You were protecting your family. I would have done the same. What has happened here? Sizoth, you fool! You've let them ruin everything. We're going, sorcerer! And we're taking you with us. Liu Kang would like a word. I cannot be apprehended so easily. And I, yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. I bid you all farewell. Cheer up, Sizoth. I'm reuniting you with your family. They're dead! You killed them? Many moons ago. I do hate loose ends. We gotta get out of here. What's wrong? The door must have sealed when the gas was released. Stand aside. Test your might. No, oh, heck no. What is this? Oh, I gotta do this? Or do I have to get it to the line and then press it? No? So we all die? Or... Okay... Slow you down. What? Shang Tsung finds you, he'll kill you. Look at me, Cage. I'm useless. Don't risk your lives to save mine. Hey, you are not giving up. The Tyra need you. Remember? We are gonna get back home and figure out how to help you. Got it? See, Johnny Cage is a real one for that. We can't linger. We'll be captured. We need help getting Kenshi to the portal at Sundo. I can take you only to the city's gate. Forgottens are forbidden inside. I'll see you the rest of the way. It's the least I can do to make amends. God, this reminds me of Wicked Planet. We had this forest in the second act. The Manticore battle. Yes! It was a pain to shoot, but man, did it come out epic. I can picture it exactly. This is the living forest. Aren't all forests living, Baraka? No others have trees that house the souls of the dead. Whoa, wait a tick. We're talking ghosts? Good ones, not evil. You guys know anybody in here? Some distant relatives. You will find no Zaterans. Why not? 
Warm bloods don't welcome us. So we keep to ourselves, living underground in Sikander province. Then how did you meet Shang Tsung? That I could take human form made me a freak among my people. I was terrorized and run out, starving and beggared. I joined a traveling carnival. Turned out there are many who would pay good money to see my gift. Uh, back then, Shang Tsung was a, a huckster. We crossed paths, and he saw what I could do. When he began to learn real sorcery, he asked to study me. When I declined, he took my family hostage. Well, that's an offer you can't refuse. He is dangerous, and he has plans. He, General Shao, Rain, they are conspiring. To do what? I can't say for certain. I've only overheard fragments. Oh, dang. Who is this chick? Oh! She sends more demons. Wait, we're not. With each of you I kill, my absolution grows nearer. Shedding your blood brings me closer to the light. Fight. Ashra, huh? Never heard of this shit. Worlders. Apologies. I'm glad I've caused neither of you permanent injury. <laughs> what is that? Just keep swimming. So, who's our femme fatale? I am Ashra, demon of the Nether Realm. Demon? You look human, mostly. What's a nether realm? The monks covered that with us. Did you sleep through every lesson? That one, apparently. <sighs> nether realm's hell, but real. No shit. I appear nearly human because I've purged most evil from my soul. When I'm done, the last vestiges of my demonic form will fade away. Why were the demons after you? They were sent by Quan Chi, my former master. I was part of his sisterhood of shadow. He wanted, still wants, dominion over the realms. I renounced him when I realized that I could not help him defile them. And now he wants you dead. Precisely. I followed Quan Chi from the nether realm here. He's building devices that steal souls on a mass scale. He's testing the first on the dead that reside in the forest. Why steal souls, Ashra? To harness their power. To what end, I don't know. But I do know that it's to aid the designs of another sorcerer. Shang Tsung. Damn it. That guy's everywhere. You're sure Quan Chi is here? 
My Chris senses him. He's nearby. No, no. We're getting you home. We have a job to do. Quan Chi could lead us to Shang Tsung. Your Liu Kang is right. Shang Tsung's a danger that must be dealt with. I will aid you. As will I. Uh, well, I guess the eyes have it. Motion carries. Ashra, lead the way. She is close. The emanations of his evil grow stronger. That is a powerful weapon. And my perfect ally. As I smite the evil it finds, I am further purified. Now I've done steps, so I'm all for self-help. But since when does a demoness want to be less evil? I had spent eternity damned to the Netherrealm. I had assumed that's all there was to existence. But then I saw Earthrealm, saw Outworld, saw there was a better way to live, and that to have it, I needed to cleanse my soul. My sister demons were furious at my change of heart. Kia and Jataka were the first to hunt me. Quan Chi is also a demon? Actually, he's an Outworlder. But he mastered the dark magic needed for unfettered travel to my realm. Any idea how he buddied up with Shang Tsung? They share a common benefactor. She plucked them both from obscurity, taught them everything they know. I've never met her, but there's no question that she is a sorceress beyond compare. Quan Chi is near. Contributions. Excellent, Nitara. I need yours as well. Darius and I have been thinking, sorcerer. Do not try to renegotiate Havoc. We need proof that you'll deliver. That he's delivered for Nitara's Vaternians is all the proof you need. Serena's right. Because of Quan Chi's magic, my realm's people are no longer poisoned by sunlight. We've finally escaped the shadows. Rest Wait a minute, is that Megan Fox's character? Receive, we'll bring the one with the wings? The government. When will we have them, Quan Chi? After the attack on Earthrealm. Which could be called off if the soul steal That looks like Josh Brolin. ...demonstrated promptly. What kind of thing is he doing? Earthrealm is in grave danger. Just one soul stealer can kill hundreds of thousands. If he unleashes a battery of their money, millions will die. He must be stopped. I will deal with Quan Chi. The four of you subdue the others. Whoa there, big fella. This stops where you get off. You heard her. Millions could die. Which is why we don't want you tripping us up out there. Now, give me your sword. Why? Just give it. He's gonna give him the Seto sword. I knew it. What? I can't. Not when you've saved my life. It's yours. Told y'all Johnny Cage is a real one. This is the best Johnny Cage ever. Upward climb, chapter six, Ashra. I think that the Atari character is Megan Fox. And now it appears you found allies. We are joined against you, sorcerer. 
You won't be stealing any souls. Baraka could have just bit him right there and it would have been all over. And who's that black dude? What the heck? Raid's enchanted. It was forged to destroy evil. It's slain many of your vampire kind. We can't help what we are. That we feed on blood. Yeah, her voice, you could just evil. tell that that's Megan Fox. She 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 don't sound natural reading that script. She's reading it like a kindergartner. That blade is enchanted and I don't know if I'm going to die or not. Heck no. Oh, they missed it? Thought they hit it on me. Is that your best demon? You'll need much more. Oh my goodness. The way that Ashra fights is like Soul Calibur. I like it. He's pretty fast. I am one step closer to redemption. Kusimaratan! <laughs> Uh oh look at all oh my gosh look at all these demons i wonder how quan chi dies because he's not dead yet his skin isn't all pale or whatever they all stop fighting to watch they're like ooh, oh my god they're like shiny the demon nato you don't want to get in there. Yeah, who is that dude? Is that Dark Side? Oh, that's Ermac. Oh, he looks crazy. This is probably the best looking Ermac in all the Mortal Kombat's all day. to free another is a heinous proposition one i won't let you fulfill Fight. all right come on ashra oh my Volumes about you. 
Okay. Reptile, help me. So apparently that bald black dude's name is Darius. I don't know why they couldn't give him a cooler name. Because Darius is kind of... Yeah, you know what it is. Oh, no. Oh. I just died. They beat me. Dang, that's crazy. All right. I'll take that. I'll take that with pride. Bro, you just pulled your... You just pulled your head off. How are you still alive? What kind of demon magic you working with over here? He must not have any bones in his body. Nah, Darius, don't be trying to come up on here. We don't need your thugnificent axe to come in here and try to fight. Bro, stop. Stop breaking your neck. Go see a chiropractor or something. Take your chaos elsewhere. I always feared you would be trouble. Oh, look at Quan Chi's get up. I like that blue. Like your sister. And now they're dead by my hand because you sent them against me. I'll never forgive you for that, Quan Chi. Oh, I don't. I'm pretty sure he doesn't care if you're gonna forgive him or not. <laughs> oh my gosh. He sounds like the Quan Chi from the older Mortal Kombat's that freaking scream that Ooh, ah! This has been a long time coming, Sorceress. Ermac, keep your bald head out of my business, bro. You and your bald head cousin Quan Chi, leave me alone. Go get some go get some roll gain or something. Go to Bosley's to help you with that uh that laser treatment. Oh, that was nice. We both hit each other at the same time. When I'm finished here. I will finish you. Hey, man, she says she's gonna finish you, bro. Yeah, this Ermac is goaded. <laughs> He's a beast. Nah, don't kill Johnny. Don't kill him. Johnny has the best story arc so far. Uh-oh. Ooh, Quan Chi. Is he going to do it? Nah, not Quan Chi. Kenshi. Kenshi. Sorry, Kenshi. I don't know why I said Quan Chi. I'm, the names are all mixed up. Yeah, he, he ultimately failed. He, he failed. He failed. He failed. Kenshi, harness your inner, inner powers, man. He's like, my Seto. See? Now, he's in distress, so he can't really concentrate. Oh, what? what? The sword's talking to him? Who is that? Your Come to us. What? That's crazy.
Uh oh. I got goosebumps like a mug right now. It siphoned his souls and now has his power. That was unexpected. You're telling me. Shall we finish this? Let's. This fight's not over. I'll defeat all of Quan Chi's minions. We are many. You are one. We will destroy you. Fight! Alright, 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 alright. Kenshi, do, do the thing you do. You got your new sword going. Help me out. I can't lose the Ermac. Already lost the bald head Quan Chi. I can't lose twice. Hey, Serena, you stay out of this. Nobody called you in here for help. Ermac could fight by himself. He's a he's a big boy. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Don't let him. Okay. It's getting a little scared there. I was getting a little squared there. Like you're looking good over there, man. Combat must have weakened the magic. Yeah, he's he's dying. Souls together. Sinel, I'll find you. What was that? Watch him. I'll shut down the soul stealer. Uh oh, what's I gonna do? Oh. Oh, so this is how he dies. Yep, there it is. I called it. Now he's going to be way more powerful, I'm sure. Since that didn't kill you, I will. No, Ashra. He's too dangerous to let live. Liu Kang needs to question him. He knows Shang Tsung's plans. She was ready to end it all. Well, clearly I underpaid for that. Did you know what it could do? The legends never mentioned mystical powers. The souls of my ancestors live within it. They intend to guide me. Just don't forget who gave it to you, Takahashi. I won't, Cage. Now, let's get him to Earthrealm. I know home's here for you, Baraka. But size off, Ashra. You can come with if you want. I'm sure Liu Kang will welcome you. I've never had a home. <laughs> She's like, I've been homeless since birth. I would love to come. Report. The soul stealers are under construction. Quan Chi tests the final components as we speak. And the army will obey your every command once it's been fed sufficient souls. I've also conceived the plan to break the Lin Kuei away from Liu Kang. 
Instead of defending Earthrealm, they will betray it. Excellent. You have learned quickly, Shang Tsung, and well. You will soon reap the bounty of what you've sown. All right, so chapter seven, narrow escape. This is reptile. Let's see what he's doing. What is he? What is he plotting and scheming right now? He's climbing over there like a maniac. What's the Assassin's Creed right now? Look at him. He's like, I will get General Shao and break his neck. Look at him. It's full doing. Yeah, this is definitely some Assassin's Creed type stuff. He's gonna dive bomb into the crowd down there, watch. What are they celebrating? Chinese New Year? Who are these Earth Roamers we're looking for? You have their descriptions. You could at least tell me why they're here. What they've done. State secrets. Not for your ears. Yes, princess. Fetch us water, please. As you wish. Careful, sister. Entanglements with Ungadi are forbidden. You know their vows. Who told you? No one. I have eyes. As for <laughs> the snakes at court who would cheer your downfall. The Ungadi's rules are ridiculous. And you can change them when you are empress. For now, you cannot jeopardize your ascension. What are they arguing about? Is she interested in the other, like Tanya or whatever? Night, night, sweet prince of darkness. Oh, perfect. You'll fit right in. You couldn't steal a more functional hat. What? It hides your face. And honestly, it suits you. I still don't know about this. Carrying him around will attract unwanted attention. Look at it out there. It's like Mardi Gras. People will think you just party too hard. <laughs> What's the word? Go toward the stage, then right to the portal gate. But there are soldiers and constables everywhere. Are you sure these are enough? One person spots us, and we are dead. That's why I'll create a diversion. They're out for you too, Sizoth. To catch me, they must see me. That's true. You didn't tell me you could go full predator. Yep, that was definitely a diversion right there. They're over here just <laughs> carrying Quan Chi around like we can at Bernie's. Come, princess, unhand me. I'm going nowhere. She's like, unhand me, you filthy scum. You scoundrel. Stand down, General. This is my problem, not the military's. Look. Oh, they can see him. Yep. You know him? Who is he? Unimportant, <laughs> but it means the Earth Realmers are here. It's like he brought Wake his buddies. Up. 
I thought he was a chameleon. How come they can see him? That's kind of weird. Yeah, there he goes. Yeah, he heard him. She's all confident. She's like, I'll get that reptile. He's just bleeding. Leaving a trail. Oh, they better keep going. They kind of look suspicious by dragging a dead... Well, she's not dead, but like a dead weight body, pretty much. Oh, Ken Kenshi's harnessing his powers already. Green blood? You're Zeteran. Uh-oh. How can you... There is much you don't know. Like what the general is truly up to. Surrender and I'll hear you out. I can't if you resist arrest. You arrest me, he'll execute me. And that's not how I intend to die. Fight. Dang, we made messing me up. Oh my gosh. Wait, she blocked it? You dirty. My quarrel's not with you. Let me pass. I feel like they gave Lee Mei like Sonya's powers, kind of. Because she out Sonya used to shoot out that purple thing out of her wrist. Or not purple, but pink. Know that I am sorry for disturbing Sundo's peace. Ludicrous. Princess, no. You could be hurt. Oh, dang. Now I gotta fight Katana? She's going crazy. Insurrection from a Zeteran? This is a day I never thought I'd see. You misread my intentions, Princess. Sadly, I've no time to explain them. Fight. My goodness. Guess and I gotta fight Tanya next. Take the princess and go. My fight's not with her or you. It is now that you've laid your hands on her. I mean, she hit me first. I mean, I I, I didn't do anything. Fight. I was trying to enjoy the festivities, and she hit me first. So I was just defending myself. That's all. Yes. 
Continue. Oh my, oh wow. Oh, they got me. Let's see what this is about. Ooh. Oh, she blocked it. My sentence is suspended, Umgadi. Yeah, Umgadi, Tanya. Oh, dang. There's Goro and Shang Tsung, or Shao Kahn. I don't want to have to fight Goro. He be cheating. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Trying to knock him out again? Worry about him. Worry only about the Earth Realmers. This is one of my movies. We get saved by a plucky comic sidekick. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, it's Reptile today, and Kenshi. We die together. Not comic, but definitely <laughs> plucky. That was pretty good, though. That was a little good little intro right there. It's unlike Shang Tsung to leave loose ends. Now that I'm free of him, I'll reveal your conspiracy to all of Outworld. <laughs> You'll do nothing of the kind. Dead men tell no tales. Yeah, because you're going to be dead in 2.8 seconds. Oh, wait, Goro's his partner? That's pretty. See, that's cheap. He's going to come in with his 18,000 arms and hit me for one time, and I'll die. Like I said, Prime Shao Kahn is definitely in Mortal Kombat 9. Wait, what? I didn't block it? Oh my gosh. Alright, now I said earlier that the Sub-Zero uh, Scorpion Fatal was the best. That one was, uh, that was up there. That was definitely up there with all of them. Silence me, General. We must go now. Is that Nataro? I think that's his name, or Shintaro? One of the, one of the two. They were definitely running like their life depended on it. And they just made it. Johnny, Kenshi, Kung Lao, you have safely returned. By the Elder Gods. Yeah. yeah we had a run in with Princess Melina's inner demons. She took my sight. But Sento, in its own way, restored it. I am glad that Sento bonded with you. Though my hope was that the means would be different this time. This time? Forgive me, Genshi. I misspoke. No, you didn't misspoke. It happened to him in the last realm or the last universe. 
But he got away. I can see why you're twitchy about him. He's neck deep in some serious shit. Rest, eat, then we will discuss. Can I also get a martini? Shaken, not stirred? Ah, I'm sorry. Meet the newest members of the Earthrealm players. We wouldn't have made it back without them. Astra and Sizos. You know us? As Earthrealm's protector, there is much I know. Do you also know of my former master, Quan Chi? Mm -hmm. He colludes with Shang Tsung. A new deadly alliance? Oh no. Come, all of you. You must tell me all you know. So, Liu Kang is pretty much like telling them that. So much for that, Martini. It's like deja vu, pretty much. Shang Tsung and Quan Chi again it's all happening again. Yeah, Earth see? Realm? See, there it goes. Johnny and Kenshi report should not be possible. You witnessed how I rewrote history. I gave the sorcerers meaningless lives. They should have never gained power, let alone joined forces. And your work was flawless. Such would their lives have been had someone not interfered. Interfered? What do you mean? Both sorcerers were visited by this person. It is her intervention that bent the arcs of their lives. Who is she? Unknown. Nah, you know that's Kronika. Obscured from the hourglass. Who could have that power? Is it Kronika? Somehow resurrected? Mm -hmm. Impossible. Titans once destroyed cannot be revived. Then someone else must have survived the previous timeline. Someone with a vendetta against me. It is the only plausible theory. You must determine its validity, Gears. The fate of the realms may depend on it. To linger. Patience behind. All right, so this is Demi Band of Brothers, Chapter Eight, Sub Zero. Were he here, Father would advise us to wait without protest. But now he is gone, and I am Grand Master. His teachings. Sub Zero not always got attitude. They should still guide us. Guide us, yes. Shackle us, no. We can't abandon tradition. Mind your place, Tomas. <laughs> Father may have taken you in made you one of us but your blood will never be lin kuei dang he told him he said you ain't nothing bro lord lu kang can see you now wait a minute raiden where you been at for like three chapters you just been sleeping i ain't seen this dude since chapter three shang Tsung is here at the ruins of ying it's supposed Fortress. to be the chosen one but he's sleeping on the job Steelers are already under construction you must destroy them and capture Shang Tsung before either can inflict harm upon Earthrealm. We will leave immediately. And we will join you. you Raiden, not just, just be quiet. You would only hinder the effort. Raiden and I are more than... We're trained differently. It takes years to master our ways. You and Raiden have my full confidence, but you are needed elsewhere. Go to the Wuxi. The monks must prepare you for war. Yeah, go to the Wuxi, get you something to eat, and chill out. Stop stop messing around with the Lin Kuei. They're a little bit stronger than y'all. I wonder where they're at right the now. The way in is over the walls. We must find a less guarded section before attempting an ascent. Finally, we face a worthy foe. Victory will bring us glory. Glory? We fight for duty. Does our father's ghost possess you? All I hear is his voice. We must honor his vision, Bihan. Yeah, Bihan, chill out. What he lacked. He was blind to our superiority. We settle for defending Earthrealm when we could help lead it. Our clan doesn't govern. It serves. <laughs> Smoke, you might not. I'm telling you, you better quit messing with Sub Zero. 
Because he don't like you too much. He said you ain't even brothers. You might want to keep your peanut gallery to yourself. Tara. Oh, dang. Y'all notice how Sub-Zero kicked that brick over <laughs> and it almost hit him. <laughs> you can tell he does not like smoke. He does not like him. Oh, we got to fight these bums. Atara and Serena. Of battles against your kind. I had fought them tall ones. All Earth Realmers will soon know of Eternus. My realm starves, and it's coming here to feed. Fight. All right, Megan Fox. You work on your line, delivering your lines a little bit. You don't sound like a villain. You sound like you're reading from a storybook in kindergarten. Yeah, nobody direct her to know how to deliver her lines. I mean, come on. She's been an actress all these years. I don't know what you've been doing, man, but you might need to make a lifestyle change. You shouldn't have all them wrinkles on you if you're a sorcerer. Wait, test my might. Oh, am I going to die? Hold up. Scorpion, help me. Yeah, there you go. No, oh, so now he cares about smoke. <laughs> After all He's like, you ain't dead, darkness, right? It pleases me to again face combat. I will be pleased when we complete our mission. Oh, so that gave him like a little bit of relief, so he's not so angry anymore since he got you know he got the fight, he got he got it out, you know. Be 
careful with what you're handling. We have no time for mistakes. Continue working. Look at this I ugly fool. The production of the remaining basins. What happened to your skin pigment, bruh? Need to get some sun in ya. Ruthless. That's Quan Chi. No, it's the it's the Tooth Fairy. Kwai Liang and I will capture him. <laughs> you see, you see how he just excludes him. Not even to help. He's like, me and Kwai Liang got this. You stay back here. You you ain't a part of the family. He's like, you you got picked up off the streets. You ain't blood. Stay here. I wonder if Sub Zero's gonna or not. It's not Sub Zero. Squirt, or Smoke's gonna feel a certain way about that. Cause you've been picking on him this whole time. That gold coins or just money just laying on the ground? Oh, look at this fool. He's so proud. Look at him. He's just like. Will the soul stealers be completed on time, Quan Chi? Yes. Our benefactor's guidance has proven most helpful. If we break it, we'll halt their construction. Agreed. <laughs> I bet you have. Were you told also to expect defeat? This ends. Dude, no I love this Sub Zero. I just love uh, he. He's just angry. He's on a rampage. He he doesn't care about nobody. All he wants to do is destroy. This is so unnecessary. What I can offer you, you won't decline. Unless it's your surrender, I am not interested. Fight. Wait, 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 wait a minute. You over here transforming into me, bro? Hey, Scorpion, you... Oh, okay, you ain't under them gold coins no more. I thought you was still, you know, occupied with counting that money. <laughs> it is your choice. 
Wait, what the heck? I don't think he could have really even ki killed Shang Tsung anyways, even if he tried. Dang. There ain't no, there ain't no way they're letting them get captured like this. There is no, uh, smoke, you're part of the family, come help. Come in and drop a smoke bomb and start kicking people. Where you where you at? Smoke. Uh sub zero Perhaps sorry. You wish to entertain my offer. How would you know what I value? We are strangers to each other. I know that you wish to break free of Liu Kang's control. To gain your clan unrivaled power. I offer the means to do both. He's like, say word? <laughs> sub zero's like, say word? Ignore him, brother. <laughs> Scorpion's like, hey, uh, we, we, we might want to stay on the good team. I'm sure you're asking yourself, can I afford to trust a man I have never met? But the true question you must ask is, can I afford not to? So that's probably how Scorpion and Sub-Zero separate with each other between that situation. All right, let's see. Let's see what Garrus is doing. Is it Kronika? Like, let us know. We're like... My realm and your clan have much in common. We both Chapter 9, Civil War, Scorpion. Let's see what we got. Once Outworld rules Earthrealm, you will be free to remake the Lin Kuei in any manner you see fit. Bihan, don't listen. We must stop them. Not Silence, Kuei Liang. But brother... Obey your Grandmaster. Can you win this war? Soul stealers are deadly, but they're not enough. You only think so because you don't understand their true purpose. Explain. Emperor Ying built this fortress during one of Earthrealm's most turbulent periods. Enemies beset him on all sides. He built a great army to protect his empire. They built a second one to protect him in the afterlife. This is Emperor Ying's dragon army. It's a lot of Manheiser Bush right there. Impressive. It's like 800 soldiers. But does this history lesson have a point? These statues were constructed and enchanted by the great mages in the Emperor's court. fragments of souls once alive they fight tirelessly unburdened by remorse or pity
As our ally, you will be given command of several battalions. Few in Earthrealm could then resist. <laughs> Look the at him considering it. He's just like, ooh. What up, McFlurry? in his grave if he saw this he was a doddering old fool he yeah a favor. how his new sub-zero was a scumbag man was right to let him die let what? him die you said you tried to save him wow because you couldn't and still can't face the truth father had doomed the lin kuei to mediocrity now we will achieve greatness <laughs> Yeah, Scorp Scorpion ain't having that. Dang! <laughs> He's about to kill him! Dude, Scorpion is whooping tail. Oh, yeah, he's not playing any games. Come on, kill him. Kill Shotgun. Kill him, please. Ah, I thought it was going to be that easy. That'd have been crazy if he took his head off. He is a feisty one. Are you going to blather or make yourself useful? This Earth realm must be neutralized. Yeah, shut up, General Shao. Freaking bomb. Corrupting him. He ain't playing right now. to the task. Do not let Kwai Liang escape. What you gonna do about it, Sub-Zero? You gonna cry it? You gonna cry me a river with all your ice tears? Is he chasing after Sub Zero? I'm wondering. Oh, that's Rain. And Quan Chi's right there. What are they doing? Look at all that gold. I see. Uh oh. Saul's reflection. Turn around. Declined Shang Tsung's offer. I assume your brother has not. The sorcerer tempted him into forsaking his oath. He can be convincing, can't he? Spurning him is a grave mistake. All right, here we go. If 
I had to compare Scorpion on Mortal Kombat 11 and this one, definitely the Mortal Kombat 11 Scorpion is a little bit more OP. This one's okay as well. is yours, Outworlder. What have you done? What's that dude's name again? D Darius or something? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I have that uh, game from McClurry, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. One of these days, I'll put it on my channel. Collector got it for me. Oh crap! Oh, they were about to melt his face off. I wonder what would happen if I just let. Oh! Is ugly. Havoc, you might want to go see a plastic surgeon, bro. You looking, you looking a little busted and disgusted. I hope y'all ain't eating them 50 cent McDonald's cheeseburgers. You're gonna be cut, turn around looking like Havoc. does not have mine his ball head business. A Lin Kuei's flame is not easily smothered. Split him. We must find him. They're still looking for him. He's over here just trying to escape. He's dipping out. Like I'm out of here. Wait, who's that smoke? What happened? Where's Bihan? He's oh, he, he traded. We're traded on him. Danger. Yeah, you know, Smoke don't care. Sub-Zero's treating him like garbage. Forsaking Earthrealm? He's abandoned all reason. I knew Bihan's frustrations ran deep, but I never thought they could inspire such madness. We can't let his corruption spread. Whatever it takes, I am with you. Thank you. We may not share blood, but we are brothers. Uh-oh. He's <laughs> oh jeez, he's like touching to moment, brothers. <laughs> Not when it betrays Ling Kuei principles. We won't sacrifice them to serve your ambition.
Stay back. This is my fight. End this, brother. Embrace the future. I want no part of it. You pervert all that it means to be Lin Kuei. Yeah, Sub-Zero, you're a pervert. Jeez. my grandmaster no longer what are oh, you doing take this pin back once he's exposed won't you be made grandmaster you forget cyrax and sector their loyalty to bihan is absolute they'll sooner abet his corruption than follow me we must chart a new course one that both honors our father's legacy and serves Earthrealm. help me we can't leave him here to aid Shang Tsung. I wonder where they're going to take him. Oh, dang. He's activating that whole army. That's not good. How did you achieve this, sorcerer? Liu Kang, why are you asking dumb questions? Why don't you go you get him and fight him? Moment too soon, Kyrus. What have you learned? In scrutinizing Shang Tsung's first meeting with his benefactor, I made an important discovery. All right, who is it? Her life essence, the very time crystals that make up her being, are not of this timeline. Not of this timeline? How could someone from a previous timeline enter this one? That cannot happen. If that cannot happen, then what has happened, Kyrus? There are no other timelines than those that have come before. All evidence points to the presence of a second timeline, which exists concurrently with ours. Two timelines, side by side, moving forward simultaneously? Never in a billion lifetimes have I seen this. But that does not make the other timeline any less real. There can be no doubt that Shang Tsung's benefactor hails from it. Hmm. And who she is, why she's here, where she's from. All questions we need answered, which we can't, for we are under attack. I will go to Sindel, convince her to withdraw from Earthrealm by showing her how history is being manipulated. That will require revealing to her your prior role as Keeper of Time. The situation gives me no choice. I will need your help, Gears, to prove my claims to the Empress. All right, so chapter 10, Protect and Serve. This is Lee May. Return home, Lord Liu Kang. I am to let no one pass. I must see Her Majesty. She must call off her attack on Earthrealm. Her decision was unwise, but she no longer seeks my counsel, and I doubt she's interested in yours. The Empress has been deceived. 
Shang Tsung and General Shao have fomented this crisis as a means to steal her throne. General Shao? I knew he was hiding his true intentions. But join Shang Tsung? Ugh. I knew he couldn't be trusted. Were I still Umgadi, he would never have breathed the same air as the Empress. My palace sources told me he arrived out of nowhere and immediately had the Empress's ear. He gained her trust by treating Princess Melina's condition. Tragically, she is afflicted with Tarkat disease. Tarkat? And she got that Tarkat. The Empress must be beside herself. If Shang Tsung found a treatment, no wonder she embraced him. I have shared this with no one. I trust that you, of all people, will keep this secret. Of course. Were it made public, it would bring down the royal family. Li Mei, Empress Sindel needs our help. Will you join me? Emperor Jared's death, the pain it caused Empress Sindel, has always haunted me. I failed the royal family once. I won't do so again. Everything now makes sense. My Umgadi contacts had said the general soldiers had been encroaching. But still, I, I can't fathom it. General Shao committing treason? It is the fruit of a poisonous seed planted by Shang Tsung. He played to the general's vanity, he inflamed his prejudices to convince him that he alone could save our world. He may be unstoppable. The Umgadi don't have numbers, and my constables aren't trained for war. Know that I, too, will aid in the Empress's defense. Driver, what is it? Soldiers. We need that aid right now. Montaro, or whatever his name is. Return Luke oh, and this to weirdo. Mei. He isn't welcome in Outworld. I won't support the general, Reiko, nor his plot to usurp the throne. Then you won't live to see the new regime. Oh! Dude. Why are they always wilding on this game? They have us surrounded. I am Earthrealm's protector, Li Mei. I am no stranger to combat. Then let's get out there. Look at her, she's like, let's take charge. You should have joined us, not the constabulary. We could have used your own gaudy skills. Enough. I've no use for a traitor's compliments. Fight. Yeah, it's Motaro. And your accomplices will face judgment, Reiko. All right. So, Leave how did Shao Kahn's soldiers take down Sub Zero and Scorpion, but Li Mei took took them like it's nothing? She like shut it all down, like easy. There's Tanya. I forgot who that other girl is. 
Word of his arrival precedes you. Surrender if you wish to remain unharmed. Let us pass, Tanya. The Empress and her family are in danger. He brings word that Shang Tsung and General Shao plot against them. The General? Are you so easily taken in by lies? Once again, you prove incapable of protecting the royal house. Wow. Fight. <laughs> I'm sorry you made that necessary. Priestesses. <laughs> They're surrounded. They're completely surrounded. You know who I am. Of my deeds when I was one of you. I may no longer be welcome. But in my heart, I am still Umgadi. They're like, we don't care, and they chop her head off. Vows. He's here to end a threat to the Empress. Stand against us, and she will lose the throne. Stand with us, and we will save the Empire. To the Empire. Why didn't you kill me? Because we mean you no harm. And that you live will help prove that fact to the Empress. How dare you, Li Mei? It's not enough that you let Jared be murdered. You let Liu Kang destroy the rest of my family? My heart broke when your husband died. I lost not only my emperor, but you, my closest friend. I know you may never forgive me. But don't be blinded by anger and grief. We are here to help you. Oh, dang. No, daughter. Your condition. Your faithlessness astounds, Li Mei. How can you side with Earthrealm against us? I'm acting for your <laughs> Luke Kang's in the background. And for Outworlds. He's like, I'm ready if to fight Katana. Moment, you'd realize it. Fight. He's like, what's up, girl? Oh, dang. She started off crazy on me. Oh, my goodness. She always gets me with that move. You must be smarter, princess. No, Melina. I forbid it. I must. If I won't risk my life for the throne, I'm not worthy of it. Dang, Melina's about to turn into a demon, watch. Because the fighting agitates that disease. I remember teaching you that, princess. You were but a girl. <laughs> that was long ago. Much has changed. My loyalty to your family hasn't. Trust me now as you did then. <laughs> Princess, 
Just listen. We shouldn't fight. I think she's turning. Yep, I knew it. Oh, is she gonna bite her mom, or she already probably got her. Ugly. Princess, but I won't allow you to hurt yourself or anyone else. Fight. Dang. makes victims of us all. Uh, Y'all better get away from her if sure she eats you. your majesty there can be no debt between friends she's like we ain't friends i am glad she is safe and that our conflict has ended it is paused not ended lee may has earned my goodwill whether you do remains to be seen i seek only peace your majesty is that why you send minions on secret missions into my empire You've proved yourself the enemy I was long warned you would be. I understand your anger, but I had reason to believe that Shang Tsung posed a threat to both of us. Until I confirmed them, I did not want to burden you with my suspicions. And now? They have proven true. Shang Tsung, Quan Chi, the General. They conspire to conquer our realms. A serious charge. Where is your proof? At Shang Tsung's laboratory. If what you see there does not convince you, I will surrender Earthrealm without a fight. Oh, how could I have so misjudged them? Chapter 11, Shang for the Empire, Sindel. Such depravity for General Shao to condone it. They are not the men I thought them. Despite my best efforts, neither man nor Quan Chi are who they were meant to be. They're not your responsibility. They're outworlders. But it is I who crafted their destinies, along with those of all other beings, at the dawn of history. You created the realms. It, is your mind addled, demigod? I am a mere demigod now. But eons ago, I was more powerful than all of the Elder Gods combined. I was a Titan and the Keeper of Time. This is Gyrus. Your Majesty, Your Highnesses. Gyrus is the Guardian of the Hourglass. A celestial object which lies beyond the realms. The hourglass regulates time and destiny. When I wielded its power, it was upon me to craft all of existence. Which I did when I restarted history. Restarted? This timeline was preceded by billions more. Though this is the first of Liu Kang's design. The others were designed by his predecessor. Kronika was obsessed with equalizing good and evil. 
When a timeline veered too far to one or the other, she would halt it and restart history, tinkering with lives and events in the hope of achieving her golden balance. Prior timelines, Kronika gave Shang Tsung and Quan Chi mastery of the most vile magics. Shao is not a general, a tyrannical ruler bent on conquest. You, Sindel, were his ruthless wife, who would do anything to preserve your privilege. When I took the hourglass from Kronika, I vowed to do better. So in this timeline, the sorcerers would not gain their dark powers. Shao would be your loyal follower, and you would rule Outworld firmly, but fairly. But someone has interfered with Liu Kang's design. Shao, Shang Tsung, Quan Chi, all have been groomed by an unknown entity to be the villains they were in previous timelines. Where to begin? Am I to kneel to my creator? Do you expect worship? No, your majesty. My prior role was thrust upon me by circumstance. I am in no way divine. You had power over all of creation, yet you gave it up. Because I saw how it drove Kronika mad. I knew I would fare no better had I kept it. Uh-oh. There's General Shao. You. How dare you conspire against Outworld? Not against Outworld, but against your misguided rule. Your deference to him leaves us all vassals. So you sanction these unspeakable horrors? Lie to me about the threats we face? Thanks to you, Earthrealm blood is already on my hands. Bloodshed, without cause or provocation. Don't move. Empress. Where do you get that amulet? Stay back. What is it? The amulet of Shinnok. A weapon of terrifying power. It should not exist. Its maker is powerless, as Liu Kang designed. Yet more proof of foreign interference. Enough, brother. You both bend a knee to Outworld's new emperor. Put down the amulet. Its evil is beyond your control. <laughs> do you think I do battle, not train with my weapons? I am more than prepared. Oh, dang. So General Shao casts his lot with Outworld's enemies against me. He's a fool to ally. Got all them experiments in the background. He was like, I just want to live. Goro, go mind your business, man. Dude only been in the game for two seconds trying to come here and mess with me. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought they hit me with the fatal. It is a pointless endeavor. monstrosities. Tanya and your daughters, they are not dead, but trapped in the amulet. We can still save them. Oh, dang, Lee May. No 
Surprise, Your rebellion is doomed. Your betrayal hurts most, Rain. I thought of you as a son. I've outgrown you, Empress. He's like, you're not my mom. Shang taught me that I've scratched just the surface of my power. To explore it, I can't be bound by your limits. Fight. That was pretty cool. The heck? Oh, he blocked it? Oh, I'm about to die. Oh, I was almost dead. One hit. Gosh. Your reign is over, Sindel. I remember the weak, sickly boy you were. How your father fought to push you past your infirmities. Now you repay him by spitting on his ideals. Your revolt shreds every value he held dear. Fight. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Your family name will be forever taught. <laughs> <laughs> relieved, General. The amulet, Your Majesty. Don't get too close to Melina now. I mean, she got that Tarkat. But we must act quickly to save her throne. Is that the command of my creator? No, your majesty. She's like all into him. It's the request <laughs> of a friend. But she found out he's the creator. All right, y'all. Chapter 12, the Queen's Gambit. Melina. That Tarkat Melina. It's going to bite everybody's face off. What are they doing? Oh, that's Shang Tsung's crown that he wears. We are ready. Uh oh. And the soul stealers. Keep them running. I am sure we'll find a use for the collected souls. Uh oh. Dang. Tana's a ninja for real. Look at him being all stealth. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. Scorpion? Dude got some strength. That was crazy. Everybody's just converging on the place. They're like, let's get him. Stand down, if ordered. No, those are the general's most loyal lieutenants. They must be neutralized if we are to shut down the soul stealers. Yes, they do. We should split up. It's all out war, y'all. It's all out war. Tanya and Melina doing? Uh oh, Ermac. Stay behind me, Prince. Y'all better run. No, we fight together. Hey, it's the Matrix now. Look at her. Wait, doesn't Melina turn if she starts fighting? Like, doesn't the like the strain the strain on her body like activate her demons? Ooh. My ribs. They may be broken. So I'm guessing we're fighting Ermac. Uh, help me up. <laughs> no, Tanya, stay down. This time, I protect you. We are Ermac. It is we are Ermac. To resist us. Come any closer, and you'll feel the points of my blade. Yeah, she got them size. She ain't playing no game. Your souls will become part of our collection. Fight. Yeek. Yeek. Come on, Melina. Turn into that Tarkat. Wait, how Melina fighting with me, or not Melina, how Tanya fighting with me with broken ribs? Oh, jeez. Yeah.
Oh, he blocked it. Got him. You'll have no part of me, Ermac. Amazing, Melina. In another life, you could have been Umgadi. <laughs> I prefer this one, dearest Tanya. Uh-oh. What's wrong with him? We must leave. Quickly. Melina, wait. Uh-oh. Uh, father? No, he's playing games with you. It's a trick. Go away. Oh my gosh. Father, it's fake. You? It's fake. Yes, Melina. This body was created from the living forest souls. Mine was one of them. Your attack broke the spell that binds us. Now, don't trust I him. Am in control. Nope. Don't trust him. Father. She's it's so dumb. You are Umgadi, but not Limre. I replaced her after your death, Your Majesty. She left the order rather than accept punishment. Punishment? It was not her fault. A discussion for another time, Father. I don't believe that that's her dad. I think this is like a, f a fake. I mean, it could be, but it's probably a front. J Chancellor. Nah, I don't trust it. Oh my gosh, Katana. It's not him. It's fake. See now everybody yes. drinking the Kool-Aid, man. It's me. Oh, how I've missed you. Oh my gosh. Greetings, Jared. Liu Kang, I know Liu you Kang, don't believe him. How do you even know who he is? It's good to have you back. We once again find ourselves in challenging circumstances. And once again, we will prevail. So this is As some backstory always, that we never knew. Sindel and Ermac were together. To command. Yeah, you know what she wants to command, all right. She wants to be the commander of the meats. Look at this army that uh, Shang Tsung and Quan Chi are like trying to get together. This is a lot of soldiers. How is it they're unaware that the soul stealers are shut down? We are deep within the mountain. From here, they couldn't tell. Look at them conspiring. It is history we should not be repeating. We must take the crown. Without it, he can't raise more warriors. Our odds will improve if we can surround them. I'll distract them while the rest of you get into position. Leave it to me, mother. Melina, you need to chill out with your battling because you're going to turn into that stupid Tarkat again. Princess Melina. And he probably has control over her too. Watch. I bring news from Outworld. Sindel is deposed. General Shao now rules. And yet you are still free. Mm-hmm. Quan Chi's like, I don't buy that at all. <laughs> I provided it. The heir to the throne gives it. I think he can see out of the corner of his eye. Something ain't right. The realm is better left in general. Emperor Shao's hands. A most mature perspective. Outworld benefits from your wisdom. Yes, Shang Tsung, it does. But not in the manner that you expect. Wow. Scorpion had to be the first one. He's like, attack! Liu Kang, you better not lose to these dudes. The Gears. Dang, Tanya getting worked. Never mind. Spoke too soon. Is an impressive display of guile. 
Who knew she was so capable? Oh, Melina got guile, all right. Count yourselves among my doubters. I will count you among the dead. Fight. <laughs> Hi, with me, oh, Tanya still. Is that old man Shang soon? Consequences for forsaking Outworld. Oh, that thing's gonna start activating more soldiers. Oh, wait, it's Crown. Oh, who's gonna get it? The princess. This fight is ended. The fight, perhaps. Not the battle. He's a hello, old friend. Until your benefactor is caught, the realms remain threatened. Who is she, sorcerer? McFlurry. Get that crown. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Liu Kang. Meet Damashi. Damashi? <laughs> Damashi? <laughs> I never heard of this person before. Who's Damashi? Wait, what the heck? You are the victim of deception, sorcerer. You're not Damashi. You're me. More correctly, you are me. A uh -oh. facsimile, anyway. Made lesser by Liu Kang's meddling. What's happening here? Who is he? This Chang Song is whom I battled for the hourglass. I thought him dead. As I did you, Liu Kang. Yeah, but why is he young? Because he was it older. Turns out our battle released mammoth energies which ripped apart time's fabric. The fight had two conclusions. In one, I was the victor. That is true. In the other, it was you. At the end of Mortal Kombat 11, if you it lost to Shang Tsung, he, he, he was the ruler. This. Once I did, I knew the path forward. That makes perfect sense, I too. Took this form and infiltrated your See, because he even has, he has evil demons. Oh, wait, I what the heck? These wretches, giving them is that Kronika? Power. Together, they sow discord among the realms and assembled for me the dragon army. I led them to believe they were aiding my conquest of Earthrealm and Outworld. But my intent is to exterminate all life in this timeline and then merge it into my own. You promised us realms. Now you leave us to slaughter. Shouldn't have believed her. You were pawns, not partners. Your purpose, sir. Or him, you whatever, he, she, whatever it is. We served you loyally, built you the dragon crown. This? This is a toy. I do not need it to control the dragon army. Only the souls contained within. Oh, dang. Liu Kang. Neither you nor your timeline will be missed. It appears our interests align. Wait a minute. Where is Raiden? He's been gone for like seven chapters. I will finish you both at the first hint of treachery. I know that's the evil Raiden, but where's the young one? Dang. Melina, what's wrong? She's gonna turn into Tarkot. Look, look at her. She's turning. Wearing off. Uh oh, there she goes. In control. 
Better run. You attack my family. I will make you suffer. Further resistance serves no purpose. This timeline will be destroyed. So this is old school Raiden. The one, the one that stole the amulet. The story got a lot more interesting now. Close your mouth, girl. Your teeth, they're everywhere. <laughs> Come forward if you dare. I will finish what Raiden could not. Sindel, calm down, okay? You're just mad because the younger Sindel's over there. You're jealous. Dang, she is working everybody, though. Liu Kang, how are you getting bodied, bro? You're you're the most powerful one. Okay. Everybody's just laid out. What is this? Your tenacity is to be admired. Until our last breaths are taken. As long as blood flows through our veins, we are not beaten. <laughs> Noble sentiments, which in the end matter We're about to have a battle? None of you will leave here alive. And they're about to go at it. Look at them. Ooh. her mother if my mother dies she won't be the only send out to perish fight Damn. okay man stanley Manheiser bushing it. The what Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game? The Ronin one? Yeah, I'm definitely going to play that one. Dang, that was dope. Yeah, I had to give her a medicine so her teeth can go away. Dang, Sindel's bleeding out. No. Liu Kang, do some powers or something, bro. Help her. It's my time, dear. Dang. At least we had a few hours more. I will cherish them. Mother. Man, somebody could help her. You are now Empress. 
rule well. I will, Mother. Hey, poor Sandel. Mother and Katana will help me. Okay. Gone. Of course. He's getting her powers. Father, what did you do? I collected your mother's soul. It resides within me. She is safe. Hurry, everyone. We must withdraw. Liu Kang, I'm, I'm a little upset with you right now. You've been showing a little weakness, and I don't like that. Not one bit. To move an army that large among realms, he'll need a portal, yes? More than one. You will need a nexus of portal gateways. It must be nearby. We follow them. They will lead us to it. Agreed. But we cannot strike until Raiden and Kung Lao arrive. That the Lin Kuei won't aid us is unforgivable. Bi Han has corrupted them totally. When this crisis ends, we will deal with that one. This is but the opening battle in a longer war. Titan Shang Tsung has prepared his entire timeline for it. We cannot match its strength. My counterpart said that your battle with him ripped time's fabric, creating two timelines. But how do we know that it wasn't torn further? If there are two timelines, can't there be more? Why the thought experiment, sorcerer? You said we lack strength. We might find it in other timelines. How would we do that? We gather allies from across timelines. Other titans to build an overwhelming force. If they exist, we have no proof that they do. We must fight the battle in front of us. We can't stake our survival on pure conjecture. If Liu Kang is right, the battle in front of us is already lost. This may be our only hope. Giris, your thoughts? It is possible. But as I am only the hourglass's steward, such a search is beyond me. It can only be undertaken by the Keeper of Time. And I no longer wield that power. You may be able to regain it. What? How do you mean? When you get How do you mean? <laughs> of the hourglass, you meant to say, I what do you mean? That one day you would find you needed it. So rather than let your power dissipate, I collected it. To this day, it remains safely stored. Why did you never tell me this? Because the process of restoring your power is likely irreversible. Returning to the life you have now as Earthrealm's protector, a life you cherish, may be impossible. And you did not want me tempted to make that sacrifice. Unless it was absolutely necessary. Correct. Thank you, Giris. You have saved us with your wisdom. Now, where have you stored my power? We must retrieve it. It is at the Fire Temple, stored in the Jade Jaguar gifted to you by the great Kung Lao. Yes, Giris. Liu Kang has proven more resilient than anticipated. He and his comrades have escaped the fortress. Forget the others. Find Liu Kang. He alone threatens my plans. You could have picked no better vessel to store my power, Giris. I have always treasured the great Kung Lao's gift. It reminds me of his meticulous nature and his generous heart. Once we retrieve the jade, I wonder if this Garrus is working with the other one. To the hourglass, there we will transfer the temporal power stored within it 
to you. It now occurs to me that all along you have had unfettered access to the power stored within. You could have taken it, become keeper of time, but chose not to. Why? Because I have faith in your vision for this new era. I am content to be its guardian. Thank you, Gareth. Now, this process you propose, you are sure it will restore my power? As sure as I can be of one that has been neither tried nor tested. But even if successful, it is not guaranteed that you will find any other timelines or allies. They may not exist. <sighs> I pray this is not a fool's errand. I hate leaving the others behind. Your champions will bolster their strength against the dragon army. It is sure to be the mother of all battles. May the Elder Gods protect them. All right, chapter 13, Deadly Alliance, saying soon. Let's see what they got going on here. Got all these soldiers. Look at, look at Sub-Zero. Look at him. Wait, is that the evil? Oh, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, who's? Oh, he has all the evil dudes with him, like the evil smoke, Scorpion, Kenshi, and all them. That's what he was talking about. He was going to give him his own little team. The evil versions. The heck is that? A Raiden? Oh, that's a drone. Wait, how they got drones right now? Who's flying this drone? Johnny Cage? My ex was so wrong. See, I called it. I already knew who was messing with that. Steel right now. This magic is incredible. This magic. <laughs> Not magic, your loveliness. Technology. I uh, make it clear what must happen next. The gateways and the dragon army have to be destroyed. She's Copies like, what's this demon device? We must divide our forces. You, Shang Tsung, Quan Chi, will use your magic to attack the portals. As you do, Kenshi and Jared will grind down the dragon army. The rest of us will attack our dark doubles. If they're defeated, it will hopefully throw the dragon warriors into disarray. An astute strategy. Truly, I could not have devised a better one. Enough I don't like this dynamic. Fighting. I really don't. Trust. Shang Tsung and Quan Chi are going to do some messed up stuff. Us. Watch. They're definitely not going to stay with the plan. Right when Shang Tsung brought up that there's probably like more realities or whatever, he had a plan that he was going to he's going to turn on them already. And then you got General Shao down there acting like a fool. Look, he's a straight demon, dude. He's a devil. Look at him. Look at his horns. Look, there's his portal, too. Big old rocks. That barely like knocked out maybe four of them. Throwing smoke fire bombs. Look at him. Attack! Are they Ghostbusters now? Don't cross the streams. Oh, wait. Ermac and Kenshi on the other side are... Oh, dang. That is unfortunate. The battle continues, Shang Tsung. All right, here we go. Quanchi, with me. I, for one, am not pleased we were double-crossed. It is an ire I share. 
I don't like this Quan Chi build. Like, Quan Chi's not, not all frail like he looks like that. Quan Chi was swole in the other games. Man, this Quan, this Kenshi, he's very, he's very advanced. This pair will trouble us no more. Oh, they're probably trying to break down the portal. Yeah, there they go. It's rain and smoke, the evil versions. There are more who acquire our attention. They're like, surprise! You're welcome, sorcerers. Right. Me, or is that Raiden becoming insufferable? You are not wrong, but it is tomorrow's problem. Let us first solve They're like, he's pretty powerful. All right, we gotta fight Rain. And come to think about it, like, you look at the old school games, right? The whole Lin Kuei all were wearing the same outfit, just different colors. And on this one, they kind of made them all have their own, like, unique little flair to themselves. Dang, we haven't seen one of these in a while. Dang, that's crazy. Maybe I could do it back. Nice. Problem solved. <laughs> He's out, uh, and you're dead. Good night. Two of five. It's progress. Now on to the next. Oh, General Shao. Y'all better get all your powers combined to be Captain Planet. What did I just say? Did you see that? His life force is feeding the portal's energy. 
We kill him. We close them permanently. <laughs> Look at them. These meddling minions grow tiresome. Let us finish them. That scorpion looks dope. Fart. Little evil version. Dang, chill, chill, bro. Oh, and I knew they were going to be a problem. No! All right, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose to this scorpion. I was I was underestimating him. Yee! Oh, nice. Okay. Can I do his thing? No, no, no. Let me let me do his. Let me Oh my gosh, he's comboing me. I don't even know which one am I? Who, who am I? Oh, I'm that one. No! No! Ah, oh, what? I blocked it! There's no way! Wow, and I lost. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was crazy. Alright. Alright, yeah, I'm losing I'm losing this this scorpion. He's too good. All right, same soon. Ch change, change into that bump. Change into him. <laughs> Your flame will be snuffed out. Yeah, we gotta snuff this flame out. Oh, he's doing his little bootleg tactics. Sorcerer. Yeah, there we go. Want she help? Oh my jeez. So much for fire and ice. Yeah, Game of Thrones. He's like, we're even. <laughs> Raiden. Are you hurt? Oh, Re Rico and uh, General Shao, that's what we're probably going to have to fight next. Your spell worked before only because you surprised me. It won't happen again. Fight. You're too slow, General Shao. You know, your hammer probably weighs like 30,000 pounds. That's why you can't move too good. How about you fight me like a real man fist to fist? Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, dude. He's brutal. He's brutal with the hammer. Yeah, you say that, but you actually, like, transformed in him, so it must have meant something. was pretty brutal
killed the portals. You've done it. The army's trapped. All of the other realms in this timeline are safe. Never forget, Raiden, that we risked our lives to perform this service. One that wouldn't have been needed if you hadn't conspired with the other Shang Tsung. They will fight to the last man. Come, we must help the others. Chapter 14, time of death, Liu Kang. He's getting his powers back. Are you ready to begin the search? Ready enough. May there be other timelines and titans to find. Uh oh, what's going on? Garrus, Liu Kang, easy katana. Oh, that's the, the is that the older katana? What's happened? Where am I? A long way from home, in a different timeline, to be precise. What? Are you also a a keeper of time? Yes. Both of us. How is that possible? The battle for Kronika's hourglass ripped apart time's fabric. Where there once was one timeline, there are now many. Dang, so she's a keeper too? Each new timeline represents a different possible outcome of that battle. In mine, I became time's keeper. In yours, it was you. In others, it could be Jade, Sindel, even Kano. The possibilities are endless. If many timelines sprung from one, and we were both part of it, then you are... You are my Liu Kang. The same one who battled you in Shang Tsung's courtyard. Who fought at your side at the Colosseum. Uh oh, they about to kiss, y'all. Who beamed with pride when you became Outworld's Khan. I knew they were gonna kiss. I called it. I just felt it. I was like, yeah, they've had to kiss. She's like, you're my Liu Kang. Why does fate seem always to conspire against us? To deny us life's simple pleasures? I don't know. Perhaps in one of the many timelines, they are ours. I would like to think you brought me here for them. But... I know you well enough to know better. What duty beckons us? I will tell you. But first, we must gather more of our old friends. Shang Tsung, the Titan, wielding the power of the Hourglass? Yes, Kung Lao. He is a threat to all. Oh, that's the old school Raiden. He's not yet aware of any beyond his and Liu Kang's. For now. It's only a matter of time. That must be the old school Kung Lao I too, I guess. My victory over Kronika would end the endless cycle of combat. Sadly, it begins anew. We have no choice. We must stop Shang Tsung. The millions in my White Lotus Society will aid us if needed. Thank you, my friends. He is here. What the heck? Oh, that must be Shang Tsung's army. Yep. Liu Kang, you have found allies. Titan allies, in fact. How could I have been so blind? Of course, our timelines aren't the only two. Retreat to yours, Shang Tsung. Your attempt to merge timelines has failed. Yes. Your comrades proved most resourceful. Thus, I have resigned myself to simply destroying your timeline. 
Knowing that others exist to conquer makes that choice much more palatable. Once I destroy your hourglass, your timeline will cease to exist. I will take great pleasure in finishing you one last time. They're going at it. Ooh. You fight how I remember. I know what you'll do before you do it. Likewise. Let's hope our advantage proves decisive. Baraka? It's like a renaissance Baraka. Who is this? Where's that nasty demon reptile? It took me 14 chapters to play as Liu Kang. That's crazy. Yeah, slither back to your timeline, bone. Oh, jeez. Oh, dang, they're trying to destroy it. Let's rip the flesh from their bones. That Lee May and Tanya? This evil. Mine is no better. You should be mine. She's a vast improvement. I'd like that. Should we survive this battle? Fight. No, Lee May, chill. Yeah, she's probably one of the fastest characters. Katana, do do your work. I hit her with the kick thing. Oh, okay. Oh, that was awesome. What? That's your booty bumper. There is no question that I prefer my Lee May to you. Yeah, our Lee May is a little bit more palatable. This one's a straight savage. That was nice. Are you the best Shang Tsung can do? Oh, are they breaking it? Oh no. They're breaking through it. Dang, and it's weakening Liu Kang. We must stop them. Hurry! Garrus, you better get up. See, that's what I'm talking about. So, Liu Kang Hill Garrus, but he couldn't hear Hill Sindel earlier. Oh, okay. Here we go. Liu versus Liu. Your final moments will be torture and pain. I do not fear your bravado. I have bested twins far more evil than you. All right, so y'all better quit yapping because that hourglass is about to break any minute now. Oh, 
It has begun. Oh, nice. Now I can do that. To your timeline brothers i don't think you guys are brothers at all we have little time the hourglass is failing hurry then let us end this now be good girls and kill them won't you as you command shang su katana and i will fight them you save the hourglass yes okay i i still feel like garris is gonna turn on us Cause where's the other gear is at? Fool, you cannot save it. Don't tell me that thing is about to break. Both are cracked reflections of me. They are abominations. Neither will survive this fight. Fight. Now, all I know from fighting in other Mortal Kombat games, Katana is a savage. Should be doing all them combos. Gotta keep her in this corner if I know what's good for me. Look at that. Look, she's already starting. Yeah, you shouldn't have jumped. You deserve this. He's waving his finger at her. song is finished you will be too yep they got more blue than they got of the other color why don't someone just kick him in the throat yeah he's bowing down better bow down sorcerer Yeah, they saved the timeline. They saved it. This isn't over, Liu Kang. He's like, I'm going to take my ball and go home. Thank you, everyone, for your aid. This battle was won together. Shang Tsung is gone, but he's not defeated. He will be back to renew his campaign. Not only against this timeline, but against all timelines. Our choice is clear. We must take the fight to him. Destroy any power he has to make war against us. Agreed. Cheng Sung is likely already gathering allies as I gathered you. We must best his efforts. Assemble an overwhelming army from across all timelines.
Chapter 15, Armageddon. Select your final warrior. Say what? All right, you guys. I know this is going to be a hot take, but I'm going to select Johnny Cage. Only because he never really gets respect and his character arc in this this game has been amazing so that's why i picked him luke kang is my favorite character but you know i wanted to show johnny cage some love there is nowhere to run shang Tsung. nowhere to hide we have banded together to rid all timelines of your evil the threat you pose to them ends today such certainty, Liu Kang, that this battle will end in your favor. It can end no other way, because across all timelines, the arc of history bends toward justice. Does it? In this timeline, it bends toward me. <laughs> The hell I unleash upon you. Bon Chi. Oh, he got himself a little army, too. That's crazy. He's got Jax, he got a cybernetic Sonya. Oh, it's about to go down, y'all. This is the biggest battle in Mortal Kombat history, hands down. That gears? Oh, croc crocodile. Who the heck is crocodile? Look at that Quan, Quan Kang Chi or Kang Kui. That's not even Quan Chi. So this is like different versions and variations of characters. This is crazy. Is that a girl version of Sub Zero? Oh, 
I like that, Sonya. You can't weather this storm. Fight. Shock Priestess. That's Tanya's alternate character. Cage, that's classic. Is a mime? Wait, is that a fleet of like Johnny Cages? Like different variations? <laughs> Johnny Connor? Is that a Shao Kahn Johnny Cage freaking blend up? This is wild. I love the creativity they've done with this game. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Katana ain't playing no games. Oh, that's Jackie Briggs. Ooh. Dang. That must have been Cassie Cage right there. Now that's a wrap. You're welcome. Now hurry. There's no time to waste. Ooh. I'll write you out of the narrative. Who is this? Scream Demon. Now, I'm really hoping that, like, you can pick all these characters, like, when the game is, like, completed. Because this game would... That'd be the biggest roster ever. You can have all these variations. I saw that Tanya had, like, some of Raiden's powers. That's, that's pretty creative. Hey, that's a half Kano, half Raiden? Or not Kano. I said Kung I meant Kung Lao. My bad. Yeah. In his timeline, he's like Raiden, probably. Oh, dang. No happy ending for you, my friend. A lady version of Scorpion. Hilarious. Oh, heck no. Look at all them Tarkat Molinas.
Johnny. You are almost there. Oh, dang. Wow. Time to let rip some star power. Fight. Hey, Remac? Jeez. Guess we're going back to OG Mortal Kombat where they all have the same uh, get up, just different color variations. K7 T2? What the? The sector slash smoke? That's what it looks like. I like that purple ghetto. Getting their cardio up today, doing all them stairs. Your defenses have failed, Shang Tsung. This is over. I do not think so. Realize, sorcerer, that you've brought this on yourself. Avarice and ego have again proved your undoing. We have no choice but to eradicate you. It is you who You guys hear that that music in the background that dun dun and your That's from the original Mortal Kombat movie. And once you are dead, all timelines will be mine. Up to you, Johnny. Your position is precarious. To survive, you must submit. Yes. The question you must ask is if Liu Kang couldn't finish us, how possibly could you? Fight. Because it's a movie and Johnny Cage is the director. So he makes the outcome. Called me the chosen one. Also, the name of my biggest box office smash. Let's do this. You have done more than enough. Please permit me to end this.
May that be the last we see of you. Yeah, that's not good. Paimon, without Shang Tsung to hold it together, it's falling apart. You must return to your timeline before this one collapses. Thank you for your aid, Johnny. May we one day meet again. I'm telling you, the locations we found here are money. I mean, look at this. Don't the rainbow colors on these mountains just scream outworld? I cannot believe you'll be telling our story about how we defeated Shang Tsung. Well, the studio thinks it's fiction, not fact. <laughs> but I don't care, as long as it's covering the budget. <laughs> I assume you'll be the star. Nope. I'm behind the camera, writing and directing. Time to let someone younger and prettier take the lead. You know, I've written in parts for all of you, if you want them. Us? On screen? I mean, they're cameos. But like they say, there are no small parts. Thank you, Johnny. But we must decline. But Raiden! The new initiates arrive tomorrow. We must return to the Wuxi to begin their instruction. Of course, you are right. What about you, Takahashi? I need a blind swordsman. And no actor can do what you do. <laughs> I would love to. But my work to revive the Tyra is starting to pay off. I can't let up now. Well, I know better than to ask you. Your plate is always full. Indeed, Johnny Cage. Which is why I must now depart. Off to Outworld? To advise the Empress? Between her father and her sister, Melina is receiving plenty of good advice. And with the sorcerers and the general imprisoned, there are few threats to her rule. Is something wrong, then? I am simply shoring up our defenses. As you know, Bi Han and his Lin Kuei have abandoned their roles as Earthrealm's guardians. His brother, Kuai Liang, has agreed to build a new clan, the Shirai Ryu, to take its place. I must go aid his efforts. Is there anything we can do? Not yet. But I will call upon all of you when the time comes. Madame Bo. Once again, you have served an excellent meal. That's kind of you to say. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And thank you, all of you. You have served well as Earthrealm's champions. No, Liu Kang. Thank you. Joining up with you really has changed the arcs of our lives. I am glad. All right, gentlemen. If you're finished, there's only one thing left to do. Which one of you gets the bad news? Whew, not me. I'm still three mil in the hole on Sento. How, uh, thick's your wallet, Takahashi? Thick enough. But seems to me our hosts are on the hook. They did invite you us. You think we have money? The Shaolin live modestly. Don't worry, Father. I've got this covered. Besides, my business man. The realms are in safe hands. struggles everyone who fought today did so fiercely 
<laughs> Had I not been here for it, I would have thought it impossible. Warriors from across timelines, clashing in combat. <laughs> the blood, the death, the chaos. Yes, Lord Havoc. It's unfortunate it all ended so fast. The next time, it won't.